think there's an ad playing, so wait. Let's wait a bit. Hey, puppy. You ready for the live? Nick, what is up, Nick? How you doing? I don't know if you're seeing an ad right now. So I have it playing over here on the TV just to see if I could see that there's a live or if there's an ad, actually. Of course there's a live. We're live. <clears throat> but I believe the ad is done, I think. It is done. Good, one more day of class, then I'm on spring break. Yes, Nick, dude, you're doing it, man. Awesome. And again, congratulations, man, on your all your school stuff. Remember to pass your classes. You gotta subscribe to Do with the Crew and donate all of your life savings. <laughs> no, no, I don't know if you heard that. Hey, Lori, how you doing? I don't know if you just heard Jason say that right now, but. Most of it, yes, he's completely right. But the subscribing part, no. Uh, no, no, no. The subscribe part, yes. The subscribe part, yes. Check and check. Nick said, not the life savings part. No, no, no. Just do all your homework. Keep kicking butt in school. Make sure you subscribe. You like the life savings part. No, no, no. You know, Jason knows what he's talking about for the most part. I'd say 90, 95% of the time. Just drinking some orange juice. Orange juice. What kind of orange juice? I know no one's asking, but actually, I don't really know. Simply orange, I believe. That's what I got. So I kind of I, I kept blue, 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 blue. blooper. I kind of want to be, not kind of, I do want to be honest with y'all and uh, very um, pretty open about the whole monetization thing because I just think you all deserve that. Uh, I'll kind of get into that in a bit just because I feel as though if you are all giving me your time, if all of you are making sure you're subscribed and all that. I feel as though you all should know the reels of the whole monetization thing. And I'm not completely clear on everything. I'm only going on by what kind of I've seen doing this YouTubing thing. That's not what this live actually was going to be. I just thought of that right now. <clears throat> but I just think... Because let's be real, as you're watching these adventures, anything like that, uh, you kind of are giving me money, right? You might think, I'm just watching. But if you watch the ads and all that stuff, you are actually. And I just want to be completely transparent with all that and make sure people know what the heck is going on type of thing, you know? You all deserve it. That's why. <clears throat> um, Nick said, how many hours do you think you'll be out in Fres? Yes, it's from... Oh, I didn't know it was actually at 1, 1 p.m. I didn't know that. I thought it was like at a little later. Happy hump day. Yes, that's right. Today's hump day. Lori, happy hump day to you. Dudes, that was uh, to everyone. Thank you, Lori. Uh, but I think, all right, so on Saturday, I have planned to go to Hillcrest to go check out the train. Finally do that. You grab it and brew there? Yes. I actually do want to. At Fres, yes. But on Saturday, I want to go in the morning. Actually, Check this out. This will be like my first day off on Saturday in 
I don't know how long. So let's fill it up with all kinds of adventure, right? Saturday morning, though, I'm going to go to Hillcrest. And Cat Fantastic, what is up? How you doing? But I want to go ride the rails at Hillcrest on Saturday morning. And then I want to dude with the – sorry, Toby. And look who's coming along. There he is. It's Timberland. Timberland, we missed you last week, man. Last week was a little crazy. I bet. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Saturday morning, I want to go ride the rails at Hillcrest. I'm going to put you down, bud. Sorry, sorry. He's mad. He's mad at me. <laughs> I want to ride the rails. Hey, Tins, Lori says. What's up, Lori? There's actually, so there was a topic that I wanted to talk about, like, not specifically of that, but a topic I wanted to talk about last week. But since Timberland was here, I was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Because Timberland and I could talk and talk and talk all kinds of hours for that. And we have. And we have. <laughs> yes. Today, uh, today <laughs> another blooper. That's two bloopers. Today's dinner, Lori, was uh, chili dogs or hot dogs that the dudes wanted. I think uh, I think it was just Noah that just had hot dogs. Yeah. Yeah. But we all had chili, chili dogs, dogs or chili cheese dogs. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, right in the train on Saturday in the morning at Hillcrest. And then uh, we'll be at Fred's Yes. Maybe, what time are you at? Like 3? So 3, so I'll be here about 3.30. So I think we'll be there like 4.30 or 5. And then there's no time limit after that. No. Unless you got to be back. Okay. No, it's okay. Cool. But yeah, so probably 5. Just on the safe side, 5. We'll be over there at Fred's, yes. Uh, but yeah, dude with a crew brew. I like that, Nick. <laughs> um, so I think before we get into the other topic, so the other topic we're going to talk about Disneyland. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Movie camera emoji. You can't. The darn thing is, is in the way. Uh, Movie camera emoji you can't see. Oh, got it. Well, I, I see it. No, 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 you can't see no, no, no. I, I, hold that over there. I could see over there too. I could see the, the movie, the movie camera. No, no, you can't, no, you can't. All right. Jason says we can't. Okay. Okay. So check this out, crew. Like I said, I always want to be transparent with all of you with the whole monetization thing, because again, although you might not think you are not, but you are actually giving me money watching those ads, watching the videos. So uh, what I've gathered as I've been doing this, yeah. I'm not a pro in any which way of anything, but it looks like the time that um, YouTube will pay out in like hundreds. So let's say in a month you make $85. Okay they won't pay you for that month until you reach the 100. Oh. Okay. So then you'll get paid the next month. Hurig, how's it going? Hey, Hurig. How are you? Uh, I'm just kind of going uh, quickly over the whole monetization thing, Hurig, uh, just because I want you all to know where your time is going into and how. I guess it makes sense. So they don't pay you until you hit 100. $100. Then it's like, so yeah. then, so say next month. Say so you you got you hit a hundred. Yeah. Are you getting a hundred and then you're getting that eighty five? No. No. I don't think so. What okay. I think happens is that it's only per hundred. So oh. let's say like like this month, let's say I'd get um eighty five. Okay. So they won't pay me out, but then the next month, let's say I get to two hundred twenty. Okay. So then that next month you get three. You get two hundred. Two hundred. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm gathering. Okay. That that's what how it works. I'm not too sure, but yeah. And every time that you watch an ad on these videos, any video, we get a portion of, I'm not too sure how much even, how much. Uh, right now, again, like to be completely clear with all of you, we have $56. And that's not just from ads. That's from people 
Uh, Lori says, yeah, that makes sense. I, I hope I'm not confusing anyone with any of this. Um, but through Super Chats, we have four members actually in our membership thing, which I was not expecting anyone to become a member. It was just part of the, if you want to be monetized, you have to have that stuff on. Yeah. So the fact that we have four members, I'm like, that's insane. Again, no one has to. Um, but we have four members. We've gotten super chats over the past, I believe, like month and a half. So those plus the ads that have been on for the past almost, oh, actually today would be a week. We that have you got that you hit your thousand, yeah. Yeah, uh, we got fifty six dollars. That's what we have accumulated yet okay. so far. So, again, just want to be completely transparent with all of you, so that you all know what is up, and anything that we make on the channel is going to go directly back into the channel, so we can continue making these awesome adventures for you. And I appreciate all of you. It is crazy that we have gotten the amount of support in the past week for just the thousand we've been getting support all the time yeah but yeah. just in this past week for reaching a thousand so on thursday before getting to the thousand we had 996 subs and right now um thank you here i appreciate that right now we got uh 1024 subs so in a week like that is just wild. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't believe you. all of you are way too awesome. I have a short that Nike's, the short that I uploaded, you know, that I'm like, yo, Nike, what the heck? There's $200, $210 pair of shoes, dude. I'm like, what? Um, that has 8,000, 8.2 thousand views. With, and I barely did that, uploaded that yesterday. Yeah. Which is crazy. I, I can't believe that it's gotten that many views. I didn't do nothing crazy. I was just kind of like, what? That's crazy price. <laughs> Especially uh, for shoes. Christy, what is up? Yeah, for you. Soon it will be. I can't see this hard thing, but I can look over here. Uh, soon it will be best. more. You're Got it. Best. Soon You're the best. No, Christy, you are the best. And I, I thank you for also watching that short and commenting on that short. But Christy, you're awesome. Tell Dino I say what's up. I miss you guys. Can't wait for the next meeting thing. Noah, what is up, Noah? How you doing? Hope you're doing awesome today. You know what? But I hope all of you have had an awesome week. Um, did you watch any shows growing up? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> so oh, yeah. We grew up in the 90s, so, I mean, it's pretty much all you did. Yeah. We didn't just, have that's YouTube true. and that's stuff true. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. So. My my show of choice was uh, Boy Meets World. That was like my office. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I would. I watched a lot of Boy Meets World. A lot. I watched. I watched a lot of Full House too. Oh, Full House for sure. And step by step. It was the 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 TGIF. Yeah. Yeah. The TGIF. Lineup, right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. He waited for every Friday night. That was like your thing. Family Matters. I always oh, watch that. I remember Fab Matters, yeah. Chrissy said, I will miss you too. See you soon. See you very soon. I was trying to see you, Chrissy, uh, you, Dino, and Luther at the anime thing at the Sierra Vista two weeks ago because I actually saw Dylan there. And Dylan said, yeah, they're around here somewhere. But I just couldn't I couldn't find you guys. You guys were out there. But what I did see is a bunch of the Hump Mare Expo flyers at people's booths. I was like, hey, look, there's one. Hey, oh, look, yeah. there's one. Hey, yeah. look, there's a flyer. So uh, that hot mare thing is making its rounds. There's a lot of people that are uh, following the page. They reached 1,000 on Instagram. And then just a lot of people that are talking about it. There's been a lot more uh, other haunts added to the lineup. Really? For okay. hot mare? Oh, yeah. That's going to be cool. Huh? It is It is catching fire, and it is really awesome. There was actually someone that uh, commented that they, they're they planning their vacation around the date of hot mare. Really? Yeah, and I'm like, that, that okay. is crazy. That's really cool. I'm telling you, here in the Central Valley, people love Halloween stuff. So, so We're all weird. Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> it's only the best people here, right? <laughs> Who said all the classics? I know. Do you remember that on TGIF Friday they also had dinosaur? 
dinosaurs dinosaurs was it yeah. was it on there because i was remember, on there i do remember watching it as a kid yeah now i thought that it went for a lot longer than it actually did but i think it only went like three seasons yeah four, four seasons something like that it might have been four but yeah, yeah i could have sworn it went a whole lot longer yeah. but it could have been they just kept showing reruns yeah so maybe so. maybe that's why uh but uh, yeah i i thought um what shows did you guys watch in at any time ever hear the show it's your move starring a young jason bateman no i did not i haven't heard of that but i will look into that uh what was the one we were talking about with uh um let's go shake their hands guy uh oh oh city guys city guys yeah was that in the 90s i wasn't in the night that was early 2000s was it or was it late 90s Let's look it up because I want. Sure. I want to say it was like ninety. If it was ninety nine, you'd probably consider it. That was an awesome show, actually. I really like City Guys, yeah. but that was another one. Which one was the? Was it Good Good Company? I think it was. Uh, the French guy. Ninety seven. Ninety seven. No way. Yeah. That's crazy. Lori well, said, uh, "I was just binge watching uh, Boss Bob Ross. Ross. I haven't heard of that. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. What am I?" <laughs> Sorry, I gotta pay attention. I'm swearing. Where, where are my glasses? Uh, Bob Ross. Oh yeah, Bob Ross. Is, that's another one. But I don't think I ever tuned in for Bob Ross. It was just if I'm um, flipping the channel, and he was on, I was like, oh yeah. I never let me watched, just watch. I never watched him. I watched um, Arthur, and I watched Mr. Rogers. Oh, Mr. Rogers for sure. So, heck yeah, Mr. Rogers and, is awesome. And then you, then you also had Reading Rainbow too. You had to watch Reading Rainbow. As a oh kid. my gosh, I forgot about Reading so. Rainbow. That's funny because someone um, just posted on Instagram. It was like a short little real thing on Instagram of Reading Rainbow and like how old it is now. Like, dang, that's crazy. And he, Lavar Burton, still looks. I think that's his name, Lavar Burton. Lavar Burton, yeah, yeah, he still looks. Pretty young. That's crazy. I know. And he was doing Reading Rainbow as he was doing Star Trek, if I'm not mistaken. I never realized that he was the dude from Star Trek. Yeah. Until like way after. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so true. That's yeah. him. Nick said, uh, I love the show I Zombie. Still a name. Unique, funny show with strong characters. I don't think I've seen that one at all. Lamb Chop. Yes. I seen that song. So many times in my head. Yeah. So her daughter but actually took over. I didn't know that. Yeah, as laptop. Oh, okay. Yeah, her daughter still does stuff. I follow her on Instagram. Crazy. Uh, but yeah, Nick, I never heard of that one. Uh, I zombie. I have not. Um, but the this is a song that never ends. Yes, they go that they played at the end. Yeah. You know, and then it shows her like just keep going, and she's telling the kids go, and then they look back. No, 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 go, go, go. <laughs> Yeah, heck yeah. Lamb Chop was awesome. I love that one. And then Hurig said, I was a Disney Channel girl. Hannah Montana, Sweet Life, That's a Raven. So I never watched those. I watched That's he a Raven. Here and there I would watch. Yeah. You know, uh, I think out of all of those, maybe more Sweet Life. Okay. Yeah. Base hit him. Yo, dude is live. <laughs> you ever see the animated Star Wars Clone Wars series? Yes. Just remember the that existed. Such a good mini series. You know, that that is an awesome series so that was actually on cartoon network wasn't it i don't remember actually i could i could swear that was on cartoon network before okay. disney bought star trip star wars star okay trip. okay yeah i didn't know that it was on i can't remember where i would watch it yeah but for sure i watched it but i know i know you're saying it's a mini series but i didn't that i didn't feel like that was a, a mini series at all like i felt like that was like an actual that was pretty long i thought yeah um but yeah, the, the Clone Wars, there's so much that happened in Clone Wars. There's like a lot that happened that uh, goes into the actual Star Wars. You know, where it's like, oh, crazy. And then how kind of Bad Batch mm. has kind of gotten into some of the things that were shown in Clone Wars. Okay. Into Bad Batch. Bad Batch is a crazy movie, too. Like, if you haven't seen that one, you should definitely watch it. Mm -hmm. No, the show, the the animated. Oh, sorry, my well, bad. The show, Bad Batch, the show. There's the season one and two. There's Jason with the save. <laughs> Wonder Years. That's I completely remember the Wonder Years. And then there was also, um, oh well, what tripped me out also is in the Wonder Years. That's Corey's brother. Yeah, 
I was like, yeah. oh, that like Fred's that makes sense. Be, yeah, how yeah. they that's right. And then they did. They actually did a movie together. I know one movie for sure. Um, Monsters. Oh yeah, 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 that's right. I forgot about that. There was another one. Um, uh, what was the robot girl? You remember? Did, did you ever see that? They like the dad builds a robot girl, and then they like try to keep her a secret. Uh, I don't remember that one. Oh man. If anyone remembers what the name of that one was, but yeah, the the girl was a robot, and they always like kept her a secret that she's a robot. Oh, she's just like a what was it like a cousin or something like that. Okay. Cat Fantastic uh, says, "Damn, dude, I just blew your demographic. I'm old enough to be your father and Jason's grandfather. That's okay. That's all right. You you didn't mess nothing up. I like actually how we have a, a very wide." range all right because uh you said small wonder dude there you go small wonder there you go disneyland five five you got it that's the one yeah <laughs> okay yeah uh i have the Maybe. song in my mind Maybe. but i i can't think of it Let me see. Small... that was an awesome show i love small wonder um but cat fantastic like uh no that that doesn't mess nothing up at all because I, I, I truly enjoy okay. how we've been able to, like, or, or capture, I don't know, like, a wide range of people watching our adventures. It's pretty like, neat. That, that means a lot to me, seriously. Because I thought, actually, I'm not going to lie. I didn't think anyone would even be interested <laughs> in the stuff we do. But the fact that we can have a very wide range is very awesome. I, I love it. You guys are awesome. And you are never too old. You are never too old. Cap, Cap Fantastic, you are not. This challenge for everybody. Maybe our back. Maybe our back says, says different. Yeah. Oh. Our back. But that and, doesn't matter. And all of our other bones <laughs> might say otherwise, but you know what? Yeah, that's okay. Lori says 40 here. An awesome 40. I'm 37. I am 37. 37. I'm 32. 32. A very young, bold, strong 32. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's really awesome that we have that. Uh, another another 90s show. Um, you said Full House, said Family yeah. Matters. The, and I also step, step by Step. Yeah, step Heck by yeah, step. that was an awesome one. I'm trying to think of those other ones that were in that TGIF. Tins is young, young. Yes, I like that. But that's 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 how this channel keeps keeps everything all young, yeah, and awesome. There was a lot in that TJF, right? Yeah. And then what else on this? Oh, did anyone ever watch a show on Disney Channel? Did you ever see it? Bug Juice. Yeah, I love right? Bug Juice. Matter of Bug... fact, a couple weeks ago, I was on Facebook and stuff yeah. like that, and Bug Juice popped up. Heck yes. Like. And I remember the camp name, Camp Waziata. Camp Waziata. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. That was an awesome one. I like the um, – the so they have a Bug Juice now on Disney Plus, I think. But yeah. is, is it like a scripted show or is it actual like real life type thing? I'm not sure. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either, but I would assume – it's scripted. I would assume that you know most reality television nowadays is not. Well, yeah, yeah, I yeah, but like, uh, was is it actually like a show? Show? I, have I mean, no idea. I don't know either. So when, huh? Oh, so hold on, ad. Uh, in case anyone's watching an ad right now, um, I'll just do this. Oh, okay. I think we're back. Are we back? Did you ever, did you ever watch Halo? Oh, that's right. Hey, Arnold. I, I did go to, yes, hey, Arnold. Jason said, hey, Arnold. Um, and yes, I did go. I went to Clovis High. Clovis High. The Clovis High. The Clovis yes, High. The original Clovis School. <laughs> uh, but so when I went to go on Disney Plus because I saw they had bug juice, mm. I was like, oh, what? No way. Bug juice? And then I didn't even see it. I just saw like the the thumbnail thing that they got. I was like. That's not bug juice, so I didn't even What's, have. Have I ever watched like real bug juice? I suppose. No, I haven't really looked 
for it on YouTube. It, it might be. I'm sure it's on YouTube. It might yeah. be clips. Um, but bug juice was awesome. It One was, of the, it made me want to go to summer camp for sure. Heck yeah! And and when they were leaving, so there's like there's like two sessions, right? There's yes. like the two six weeks where people would stay the whole yeah summer. So in those like mid ones, I was like, no, they're leaving. No. <laughs> you know, uh, El Chavo. Oh heck yeah, El Chavo de, de Ocho. I saw that all the time. And then Sabado Gigante. So I never understood El Chavo, but I did watch it. Nice. Because <laughs> like, I, I mean, I don't know what's happening. If but... it's if it's comedy, you shouldn't have to know, right? If, it, That's if true. it's a good comedy, you shouldn't have to know what they're saying to know. Okay, that was actually funny. Very true. And El Chavo was that for me. El, El Chavo was very like slapstick also. Yeah. So it was very much like I don't I don't really know what's happening, but I could still get for the most part what's happening and it's still hilarious. Yeah. You yeah. Can, like there could be a three parter possibly an episode. You just randomly click it's on like the second part and like, okay, now I know what's happening. As yeah. Soon as you click it. <laughs> yeah. El Chavo was awesome. Yeah. Um where he says, I went to CW, Clovis West. Clovis West. Is that what it is? That okay. Was, if, okay. If it's Clovis West, that was a, a big rival for Clovis High. Oh. Clovis West and Buchanan, those were the two games that we took very seriously every year. Nice. Yeah. I, I bet those games are awesome. Those, those rival games are insane. Yeah. Uh, so for me at Montclair High School, our rival one was um, Chafee. That was our rival school. It was always like, man, you where, guys. where are they from? Chafee was in Ontario. So okay. there was only one school in Montclair, Montclair High. Yeah. So then Chafee. Uh-huh. So it's weird because when I would see, when I came up here and I saw Chaffee, I was like, oh. are you guys trying to say Chafee? Because I know Chafee. And that's how they spelled it. That's uh, I bl- no no no. It was with a Y. Oh okay. It was okay. with a Y. But I was like, uh, but then Chaffee. I was like, oh Chaffee, Chaffee. But that was ours. So when I played football, I remember looking on the other side at Chaffee, and I was like, yo, coach, there's no way those dudes are high school. Like, oh, are they? There's no way, dude. And he's they had like, full on beards. And beards, everything. huge freaking people. <laughs> uh, Montclair is in. Uh, San Bernardino County. Literally, Montclair's on the line of uh, San Bernardino County and then L.A. County. Yeah. Where I used to live, the street mills was the like line right there. Of, like, okay. Right over. It's Pomona, and that's L.A. County. Yeah. That's that's where I used to live. But uh, Lori also said, um, so true, Tim. Kind of how Mr. Bean is funny, but no words. Yeah. I love Mr. Very Bean. True. Mr. Bean's. I forgot about that. I, I love Mr. Bean. I went to go watch the movies, too. Did Movie? You, movies? He has two. Did I ever tell you guys there's this interview with, like, the Mr. Bean? And he's like, mm-hmm. people people say to me, like, man, you look so familiar, but I don't know yeah. where. And Who? he's like, well, I'm Mr. Bean. And they're like, <laughs> nice one. Yeah. No, you're not Mr. Bean. <laughs> and then he's, just like, okay. he's a very underrated actor. Yes. Indian, because yes. he's in... He's known for Mr. Bean, but he's in a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, and he's funny in everything he does, like Johnny English. Oh, oh that's right, I forgot about he's that one too. He's hilarious in Johnny English. It's it was weird for me to hear him talk. Yeah, because I saw him for so long, just Mr. Bean, not saying anything. Yeah. So when I heard him talk at first, the same thing. I was like, "Is that Mr. Bean?" I'm, but he's talking though, and, and, and then was, like obviously yeah. the guy talks. It's just and <laughs> you don't realize that he was also Zazu and Lanky. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Wow, yeah. <laughs> dude, that, I that's swear him. I did not know that at all. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> the more you know, <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my gosh, Timberland just blew my mind, dude. That was awesome. Um, and then there was another show I was gonna say. Uh, in was it the Disney? Channel? No, not the... the Disney Channel did have like a lot of like cool underrated shows as a kid, mm-hmm. and then probably growing up now it's like oh, this is a little cheesy. Yeah, there's shows now on Disney Channel. I'm like, no, they. Yeah. So, um, I did not watch Rat Race. I know what movie you're talking about, but I haven't seen it. I have it. I love Rat Race. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen that one. Favorite restaurant in Five Five Nine area. 
Ooh. There's like, man, that's a tough one because I really love Tokyo Steakhouse. Yeah. I love Tokyo Steakhouse. But then there's also, man. Smokehouse? Uh, is Smokehouse? I don't know. Where's if, Smokehouse at? So Smokehouse is in Oak Ridge, and I don't know if they're in the 559 area. I think they might be 559. Okay. Well, if they are, then I think. I think you think Smokehouse? I think Smokehouse. <laughs> Um, what's there? What's your number, Smokehouse? I can't. Oh shoot! Yeah, Smokehouse is five five nine. Juanita. Well then, Smokehouse. Juanita's is not. Juanita's is down in Southern California. Yeah, yeah. Juanita's is. We have different area codes before you get to Juanita's. Oh yeah, but I'd say five five nine. Yeah, Smokehouse forty one in Oakhurst Barbecue. Oh my gosh, I love Smokehouse. If you've never been to Smokehouse in Oakers, it's worth a trip to go. Timberland, I still haven't taken Timberland. I'm sorry. And I always no, no, no. I know. That's that's a darn shame, that's for sure. That's another excuse to go to Smokehouse, but also just do a hike too. You're right. So I actually want to do a hike maybe on Sunday because I have something that my brother asked me to do. Uh, my brother wants me to do a podcast takeover okay? because he's going to do a little something different of like kind of, so my brother has his podcast and then here and there he does little things called Jesusitos, little shows of things. So he wants to try out to do, uh, he's done a couple of like vlogs, a, a couple. And okay. this time he wants to show just kind of, he's a flight attendant. So then like, let's go on a trip with me. And show like some little boom, boom, boom type of stuff, what it's like. So then he asked me, because I'm doing that, he wanted me to do a podcast takeover. So what I want to do is on Sunday, go up to the mountains. I was thinking about like doing it right here at the table, you know, classic <laughs> podcast. I was like, but that's podcast not Podcast really, location, who does that? Yeah, that's not really me, right? So I wanted to go up to the mountains and do a little recording oh. podcast thing. And then since I'm there do a small little hike um there's this guy he like he's a tiktoker he goes out into the wilderness mm -hmm. he cooks these gourmet meals Have oh yeah I've, well i don't know if i've seen that guy but i've seen a few people that they make some like crazy they take their like nice um skillet yeah. kind of thing and like a nice piece cutting of meat board. and they have uh yeah uh-huh their cutting board they'll melt some butter and they'll have rosemary and they're doing it right next to like the river the sound of the river the creek going, is going by and then it's like asmr while they're doing it they got yep. Go yep that's exactly <laughs> yeah I, again i don't know if that's the one that i've seen itself but, but yes. maybe just like those people who do that chicken email. is it chicken charlie is that his name maybe i don't know i don't know his name i just one time like saw <laughs> Uh, but so uh, I'll answer Hooray right now. But dude, so it, it would be Tokyo. Well, no, okay, nope, false. <laughs> Smokehouse, mm -hmm. Tokyo Steakhouse, and then also um, Mili Natiera in Sanger. I love their tacos. Is but, that the tacos you you brought a couple days ago? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if if the Timberland likes them. They were good tacos. Yeah, yeah. They're they're my favorite taco place. Do you have a like go to taco place? Uh, Clarissa's aunt. Okay, well that's true. Okay, but Clarissa's aunt is not that's close. That's true. By. Um, but yes, I, I guess uh, it's called um, Tijuana. I don't remember what it was called. And why haven't you told me about this before, Timlin? We we've eaten their their stuff before. We have. Yeah. Oops. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, it was Candace that got me on to them. Yes. I think it's Maria's but, tacos or something like that. But do you know where it's at? Yeah, it's in. It's okay, in, well then, I guess uh, Taco Food Review will be coming. Tacos Tijuana, that's what they're called. Okay, okay. Tacos Tijuana. Okay, heck yeah. Well then, we got to do a taco review then. Yeah. All right, awesome. Um, that was my favorite movie growing up, uh, Rat Race. Okay, that's a... Uh, that's an interesting one to have, like, I mean, I, I'm not too sure what Rat Race is, the full movie, 
right? So it's to uh, me, it seems like a little interesting one. Like that's my favorite one growing up. It's kind of entertaining because it's just a group of people that get selected. Okay. To they have to get to, I think from Vegas to I want to say New Mexico. Okay. And they have to get there within a certain amount of time, and whoever does, they get like that hundred thousand dollars, something like that. Ah. And meanwhile, they think that they're just racing to get that money, but yeah. they're actually there's people that are betting on them. Oh, okay. And they don't know that yet. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought it was just. I didn't. I didn't even know that there was like money. Yeah. I thought it was just like a group, a group of people just going, going racing. racing type so, thing. and it just it follows each person and kind of like their how they're getting there. Okay. Okay. So, crazy. It's pretty wacky. Nice. There's some events. There's some things that happen. Like, oh, really? <laughs> okay. Um, I got a question for everybody. Jason has a question for everybody. Like in terms of stop motion, like sort of claymation stuff. Yes. For example, like Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Flush, I think it's called. Oh, yes. Flush. Um, okay. Walls and Comet, you know. Wall chicken and Run. Chicken Run. Yeah. I don't watch the new one. But I didn't watch the new Chicken I, I Run. Like, I, like I like the old Chicken Run, too. And I, have, I don't think I've watched Rat Race, but I, I'm pretty sure I know the movie. Rat Race is live action. Oh, it's live action? Yes. yes. It's oh. not. Uh, it's a different rap movie where they have the helmets on. <laughs> I don't know which one that is. But know. there's also Corpse Bride. Did you ever yeah. see Corpse Bride? Uh, what was it called? Frank and Weenie? Frank and Weenie. Weenie. That's yeah. right. That one too. Um, I forgot. But question? Jason was saying? Like, like which one? What's your favorite stop motion? Yeah. What's your okay. favorite stop motion movie? Like, it doesn't have to be a movie since so Walter. That's well, true. Well, Wallace and Gromit do have movies. Though. They do have movies. Yep. Yeah, they have movies. I've never seen it. Um, one off the top of my head is The Curse of the Were Rabbit. Wallace oh, and that's Gromit right. The Curse of the Were Rabbit. Yeah. I, I think that's the only one I know of, actually. Uh, I know there's more, though. I feel like YouTube, I've only seen like small clips of it. Like There's one where they send out a robot to go get cheese from a grocery store. And that's one that, that I especially remember. Because he loves cheese. And actually, mm -hmm. so they had a documentary on... The company that created Walson Grom. And it was on Netflix for a long time. And I loved watching it. Okay. And they talked about the cheese factory. So it's, I guess it's a real factory. They're almost going to go out of business. But okay. Because Walson Grom was so popular. Mm -hmm. And that was the cheese mm. that Grom liked. Or is that Wallace? Or is he Wallace? I think it's Wallace. Hey, Wallace. Wallace. Yeah, yeah, he's Wallace. So, so Wallace, that was the cheese that he liked. It save that company because they started putting the Walson Gromit face on the cheese. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, Rick said that, uh, that Mr. Bean was in that movie. That's what I mentioned. Yes. That. Okay. Yes. Mr. Bean was in, was in that movie. Um, he kind of played almost the same character a little bit. He didn't say much. Yeah. But Okay. Rick also said that she used to like Arsenio's and Clovis. Okay. It's a location, the gas station. Uh, I think I know which one you're talking about. Um, is it? I think I know what Arsenio's you're talking about, actually. But so there's another Arsenio's. What's up, Arctic Wolf? That is uh, that's Jay. It's Jay. What is up, Jay? Uh, so there is. I used to go to Arsenio's a lot, mm -hmm. but then. Yes, on Temperance. I'm pretty sure that that's the one. I used to I work remember. at the, there was a subway right there. It's gone now. Okay. I, I closed. As a matter of fact, I was the guy that locked the door the last time. Boom, um, bummer. By it's actually by it was by that Arsenio's. Okay. And um, so I know I know where it's at. It's the Chevron. Oh, okay. okay. I th I think yeah, I think I know which one you're. Um, Temperance that, that and Alluvial, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's up there. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I used to go to Arsenio's quite a bit, but then there was one, I forgot which one it was, that I would go to. And I think they changed, like, management or something like that. And then it just, like, eh, wasn't the same. The beans weren't good. So then I found Rubber Tito's, and mm. then that's where I started to go instead, which it, it's the same type of food. But, um, I remember we went to Rubber Tito's one time. Yeah. It's like, it looks like a little kid on the 
Yes. <laughs> the little the little Mexican dude with the hat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> at that time, we were mostly going to our studios. So then when we first went to Orbit Studios, I was like, look at this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you heard that. I don't know if Jason's too far from the mic for you to hear that, but he said that when we would go to Arsenio's and went to Rubber Tito's, he's like, what is this? This is a cheap version of Arsenio's, but, but actually, actually it was better. better. It was better. But, was those, but at, at least the better than the Arsenio's that we used to go to, Rubber Tito's is better. What was it? It was one over in Montclair. No, no, no. In Montclair, it wasn't Rubber Tito's. It was called Alberto's. Oh, but okay. it's still this, that same type of like Mexican I food. Feel- I, I don't know how to describe that like it's type like, of menu. Okay. But like yeah, Arsenio's, Robert Tito's, Alberto's. Yeah, you know, it's the EO's uh, food places. <laughs> um, but also Duke said, I love Tacos Tijuana. My favorite one is the one located in Ventura, Ventura Street. Yeah, that's that's the only one to go to. I mean, well, there's two. But okay. what I mean is like that's the one. That's the one to go to. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I've okay. gone to the other one. The other one was okay. Yeah. But I, I do like the one on Ventura. All right. Then we got to do a taco food review then for sure. Yeah. Because I I don't remember had, trying this. We, we've tried. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kenneth and I brought them a long time ago. Got it. Okay. Before we moved the first time. Got it. Okay. We'll see. We got to do that. Nick said, uh, you two ever play any co-op games together? Or some might be fun to watch you play with the Asin uh, platform or whatever. You guys should play like super difficult games and people just watch you slowly get frustrated. <laughs> well, I would I would love to do that, actually. That's a great idea. Then that's funny that you say that, Nick, because I was just thinking like maybe two days ago. I was like, hey, man, I haven't done like a gaming video in a while. I think I got like two or three gaming videos that I've done. And uh, I do like to wait for it to get a little dark just so then I have the lights off. Because if not where I have the TV, you'll see like the glare of the light. Yeah. So then I'll have the lights off. And then I don't want light from back here also to be shining in. So I just want like view of the TV. And then I set up some like uh, spotlight things. So I position spotlights on us. And then... So you have a view of us, but at the same time of the game. But yes, that's an awesome idea because I've been wanting to do that. And then Nick also said maybe you should have us, your audience, play some of the Jack in the Box games with you if you host. I don't know what what that is. Jack in the Box games? <laughs> like, no. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, well, that too. <laughs> that that too. I've uh, I've been wanting to actually hook up the 360 I got over here and play some of that. Uh, Jack and Box, you used to use your phone, um, and there's a room code and stuff. Okay, I didn't know that, okay. Nick. Um, who is, huh? Yes, it's had a new party game unlocked. <laughs> Hurik said, I used to work at a hospital, so I would go uh, on my breaks. Okay. So Clovis Community. Clovis Community. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, Jay, Arctic Wolf says, it's good to see you, brother. Hope you have a good stream. Uh, Got to go, but I wanted to say hi. Jay, I appreciate you. Hopefully, I didn't miss you with you probably not there now. <laughs> but Jay, thank you so much, dude. Jay's awesome. Jay also live streams. Uh, and he has his channel, so if you want, go check out his streaming. And he has a band. And he has a band. And they have a gig coming up. And they have a gig coming up, and we're going to go see them at Porch Fest. So that's going to be cool. I can't wait for Porch Fest. There's going to be another thing that's like, ah, oh, sorry, my kids are loud, and then you see a bunch of kids. No, no, no. Porch no. Fest, kids are loud. Yeah, because it's going to be like all outdoors and stuff. Yeah. Like It's uh, Porch Fest. For those that don't know, I'm sure a, a good amount of you probably know but porch fest is just bands playing at random houses yep. on their porch that's why porch fest in the downtown or the um tower district tower area district, right yeah. okay check out the prickly porch if you can okay prickly porch you got that 
got that, Nick. The games are really fun. That's what Herrick said. Okay, I got to check that out then. That sounds awesome. Um, so now into the topic, topic at, hand. at hand, which is Disneyland. Um, there was actually a reason why I actually also wanted to bring up Disneyland. I can't really now remember why. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on that's going to happen. Yeah. There's a lot of plans. Oh, 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 the Disneyland Forward. Yeah. There you go. That's exactly what it was. Uh, but yes, lots of plans. Disneyland Forward. At least that's what they're calling it right now, right? Yeah. Disneyland Forward. And then there's also the Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And that's going to open up. As a matter of fact, it's opened up pretty soon. Yeah, which is crazy. I, I was thinking that that wasn't going to be done for like two years. And yeah. not that I was thinking they were going to do like a whole entire new ride because for the most part, it's still the same ride, like the same layout, right? I would assume so. Um, with just maybe, I honestly was expecting for them to do almost the bare minimum, only adding maybe a couple things. Like, of course, they have to have a, a Tiana in there. They yeah. have to. Um, then they also said about having a Lewis somewhere in there. Okay, but that'd be cool. The, but the crazy thing is that I was expecting them to have a Tiana like they have in um, Walt. No, no, no. The the Frozen Red in Walt Disney World, Epcot. Okay. So it's those projection face. Yeah. I don't like those. I don't like, <laughs> like those. Like Mickey and Minnie. Like Mickey's Minnie. Runaway Railway, yes. I don't like those things. It's uh, It's an animatronic, but it's not an animatronic. So then when I saw the clip of Tiana for the ride. I was like, there looks, you go. It looks pretty good. There you go. It, it, That's what I wanted right there. It moves very lifelike. Yep. So. It, it looks very awesome. It's not the projected face. Um, I saw a video of them testing uh, logs with the dummies in them. Oh, cool. I did see them running the water through yeah. the ride, but I haven't seen that. Rig. Okay, I got to check that out. Because that's really awesome. And that has to be the one in Walt Disney World, for sure. Because... Yeah, uh, Disneyland is... No, D Disneyland's not ready for water in there in okay. theirs yet. But for sure, Walt Disney World had water running. Mm. So it had to be Walt Disney World. Some people... I was kind of... Uh, like, it's a little weird. Because in the bayou, like, there's no mountains. So how are they going to get, like, this mountain thing to look by you wish but then as i've been seeing walt disney world come to life it's not i don't really see it so much as a mountain or a hill mm -hmm. it's more like just a big bush thing of like bayou trees that's what i'm gathering okay that that's what they're trying to do it's more like you're in a bayou i mean of course that's what the right is right yeah but it was just beforehand when it looked like Splash Mountain, I was like, how how are they going to do that when there's no mountains in that area? There's no mountains at all, like not even hills like that. So it's been pretty cool to see them make it not look like a mountain. And it, it's pretty awesome. Nick said, would you live in a city made and run by Disney? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, I would. If I could afford it, yeah. If I could afford it. I was just going to say, so... <laughs> If the prices were pretty good or if I could just afford it, for sure. Yeah. Um, it's a bummer that Celebration kind of didn't work out the way they wanted it to. But I think if they were to do... Um, I think if they were to do it now, it would work out better. Yeah. Just because I feel like the whole like hype of Disney has just gotten like more kind of out of hand type yeah. of thing, you know? Uh, but so if, in case you didn't know, there's there's a town. It's still there, but it's not Disney no more. But there's Walt Disney World, and like just the south of that is a very small town called Celebration, and that was their Walt Disney World city. Yeah. And then years after, they were like, "All right, we'll just get it up to to Florida," you know. And then they kind of took over. Um, but Nick also said. You hear about them trying uh, that before? Oh, yeah. They try yes. to make their own communities, I think. Yes. 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 That, that's what we're talking about, Celebration. And the, actually, even before Celebration, that was what Epcot, yeah, Epcot was supposed to be. Yeah, Epcot was supposed to be their, their little town. Yeah. 
it was uh um, well, what was it something community of the future it's what epcot stands for the whatever that is that's yeah. what that was supposed to be but then walt disney passed away and then they didn't they were left at like what the heck do we do so then they kind of changed the idea into a theme park but then it really wasn't what he envisioned at all like because he didn't envision like having different uh like pavilions yeah type thing it was an actual city but i just think they they didn't know what the heck to do with it so then they turned it into what we know now as epcot but even epcot now has changed it changed a lot yeah uh but base adam also said i don't like my so no <laughs> <laughs> that's okay that's all right um hopefully i mean it, it'd be it'd be pretty crazy to see mice running around well that's why you have cats that's, that's why that's yeah, why just, disneyland just put, that's has why, cats that's why disneyland have, has cats yeah they, they they do actually uh at certain times of the day like at night they let so there's like calls kind of thing we don't know as guests that there's a call uh but there's a like a sign that cats know at certain times like all right you can kind of like roam free now yeah. the, the cats kind of do already like they can go in and out there's there's famous cats at disneyland yeah. there's the cat at big thunder mountain uh this past time when timberland and i went i was trying to see if it was there but it was still pretty early i was like nah, yeah probably, it, was, it was early in the morning it's probably still somewhere not where we can see but the cat on big thunder mountain usually um hides right under the bridge as you go around the line you do like that first turnaround and then you hit the bridge where the the trains come over that's where right under that bridge part uh one of the cats chills right there. Yeah. a lot of times i've seen the cat there so many times and then another cat at dca the one by grizzly river run by grizzly river run yeah i've, I've seen that cat it's a, a grizzly river run and then also by the redwood yeah creek so it like goes both sides um yeah they got they got their cats there and the same thing with the birds actually so they they do some uh bye bye base hate them i've got to go now get back to playing animal crossing on my nintendo 3d 3ds bye bye base hate them thank you so much for hanging out Thanks, i dude. appreciate you dude you're awesome uh and have fun do some awesome stuff on Animal Crossing. I haven't he actually heard anyone mention Animal Crossing in a long time. Yeah. I so have. I think someone picked up their uh, have a good stream, y'all. Hey, you have an awesome night and have a good rest of the week. Have an awesome weekend into next week. Keep being awesome, dude. But it was funny. Someone uh, mentioned that, and this is like at, in December, that they opened up their Animal Crossing thing. I think like two three years later and they're like oh no what the heck happened to all my stuff <laughs> <laughs> so i've watched uh so uh what y'all think about air at would you go back yes yeah. i definitely would yeah air at was awesome um i like so i actually i forgot to mention this in the video but timberland and i were talking about it how the whole time that we were there First of all, it, it was smaller than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it was really small. Really small. It's just like a, a small, like you walk in and you see the whole place already. But for it being that small, there was a continuous people coming in and out. Yeah. People were going in, coming out, going in, going out. And it was crazy. Um, Lori, are you Armenian too? I don't know if Lori is. Lori, are you? Um, but it was cool because... It wasn't just people going in to get like food that like we got, which was already like prepared, like yeah. chicken kebab or beef kebab. Like those also people going in shopping yep. for stuff, which I was like, yo, like I didn't know this place was that popular, this busy. So that's where I know that's where my aunt gets all the ingredients when she makes Christmas dinner. Crazy. Okay. So I know she was there. That's cool. Lori says, no, I'm Mexican. How about you? Oh. Horig is Armenian. And I I think 
Jorge, you did say that before that you are, uh, but also by your last name. Yes. Right. Last name kind of gives it away. Okay. <laughs> it was funny because because <laughs> Timberland. Yep, hundred uh, percent. It was funny because Timberland when he saw your name, Jorge, when he saw the last name, he's like, "She's Armenian." I was like, "How do you know last name?" <laughs> I was like, "Ah, okay, nice." <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, um, Erat was a, a real cool, small little market. The yeah. food was awesome. That uh, I did, we did get yeah. a kebab. We got we a, got chicken, a kebab. chicken kebab. I do want to go back to get more chicken kebab because that was really good. But also the beef. Um, I'm not, I'm not into lamb. Okay, but I would still go back. And then Timlin, we can get some lamb. Yeah, you know, that'd be awesome. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a really cool shop, and it was, it was pretty. It was a bit funny because as we're in there recording and stuff, we kind of saw the lady like she wasn't rude in no way. No, Toby's growling. But she was very much like he's like, mm. "What's what's going on?" Type she, of thing. Yeah, and she didn't say nothing. She didn't say nothing at all. Matter of no. fact, even when she rang us up the first time, she was really nice. Yes, completely nice. Um, she even so even before me mentioning anything. Yeah, she even said. Uh, that they have the menu. She's like, I have the menu, the catering thing. She's like, if you want to record the the menu thing, I was like, cool, awesome, yeah. So yeah. I recorded the menu on the side, the catering menu, and then she also gave a menu. Uh, she said, so then if you want to look at the full thing, I was like, cool, awesome, appreciate that. Uh, but then going back in after, because um, Timlin got the the chorik, the chorik. So then I explained to her like I I had a good amount of people. Like I didn't I didn't tell her. Hey, I'm a YouTuber. But yeah. I just said I had a lot of people mention to me that they wanted me to come check out the market. So I was just here checking out the market and wanted to try some food. And like she was like, Oh, cool, awesome. Like, yeah, and she had a like, she had a big smile. Yeah. She's like, Awesome, yeah. I'm glad you you enjoyed it. Cause I told her, I was like, the food was really good. Yeah. She's like, I'm glad you did. Um, but yeah, she, very nice even in the beginning, yeah, but very nice also after. But I, I get that, you know, you're kind of like what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I get that, you know? And I think it's her, and I'm assuming that's her husband. I think it's their store now yeah. or something. That's what I'm assuming. Okay. So I think it's kind of like, yeah, I'm here all day. And then, you know, got these guys coming in and recording. And, yeah. And but I, she was she was nice. And I just looked like a random dude. We looked like a random dude. Yeah. Store. yeah. <laughs> like the people that were... Armenian, and we're speaking to her, and some of them were Armenian. I think I heard a couple of Russian. I I thought but, I did, yeah. yeah, but I did hear a couple of Armenian, yeah. Um, and uh, she was like talking with them, having a little bit of a conversation with them. Mm -hmm. I don't know Armenian, so I don't know what she was saying. Yeah, but I could tell. I was like, okay, you know. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Cool people, yeah. really good food. The the store was awesome. I liked it. Definitely want to go back to get more stuff. Um, Lee sandwich. All right. Uh, Nick did say, "What what pro sports have you uh, been to?" Um, so I've been to a uh, I've been to NFL game. Mm -hmm. um, I really want to take Jason to an NFL game, and the reason why I don't say no, I'm Philip, is because I've asked them before, like, okay. hey. Would you guys? Oh, there he is. I asked Noam Philip, "Are you guys down to go to a game?" And they're like, "No," <laughs> which is fine. Like I, I told him, I "Was like you guys don't have to. You yeah. know, it's not like some you have to want to go." I was like, "But better." Like I don't want to say, "Hey, you guys are gonna go to a game," and then they're gonna be like, eh, "I don't want to watch it." You yeah. Know? Um. And and another thing, just in case anyone, I have mentioned this in videos before, but in case anyone's like, "Hey, where's Noam Philip all the time?" They just, they're like, I just don't want to be on camera, you know? So that's why very few times they're like, yep, I'm here. <laughs> yep, I'm here. I did tell them, though, this weekend. I was like, hey, this weekend I want you guys to go with me to uh, the Fres Yes. Mm. Just because I want them to just get out just get out and, get out like, oh, and hang out. Oh. Yeah. And actually, when I told them that, they're like, yeah, cool, awesome. So uh, they're, they're, they're down with the... The tubing just sometimes they're like, I'll just pop my head in. But this time they're like, yeah, heck yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm down to go. I did tell them, you guys want to come to the train thing? And they're like, no. Yeah. 
It's like, okay, that's fine. That's okay. Uh, so, so that's why it's not like, well, what about the other dudes? It's just because they're like, nah, we don't really want to. So the reason why they went to the basketball game was because it was a suite. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. And I was like, hey, you guys want to go to to a game? And they were kind of like, mm. I was like, but we're gonna be in a suite. They said, okay. Yeah. Yes. Then I'm down to go. <laughs> uh, but professional games. Um, yeah, I've been to MLB. I've took all the dudes to Manny. Hey, what is up? I hope everything's going awesome. Ashley, how are you guys? How's the whole fam? I told Timberland uh, that he missed out on Saturday. On Saturday. No, no, Saturday. Was that Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Yes, yeah, Saturday that he missed out on Saturday. Um, geocaching and looking for stuff. It was really cool. It was yeah. it was insane. Yeah. There was some parts where I was like, what are we doing now going into cemeteries? I was like, cool. I was like, there's nothing like a cemetery. Yeah, so Ashley on one of the one of the geocaches uh looked at a picture mm-hmm. for the last cemetery geocache that we were at, mm-hmm. and there was a picture of a snake in the tree. She's like, ah no, like let's let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, but it was awesome. It was awesome hanging out with Levi, Ashley, Manny. Thank you guys so much for inviting me to go do that because that was that was really awesome. Um, but pro, uh, yes, been to MLB, went to Giants game, and then the we Dodgers. went to the Dodgers, Dodgers, and then what else? What you've other been pro? to a couple Lakers games? But not, I've been to Lakers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm over here thinking just like on the channel thing. Oh, but no, oh. no. Yes, I've been to Clippers, Lakers. Um, I have not done a pro hockey. I definitely want to do pro hockey. Have to do that. I've only seen exhibitions for pro hockey. Okay. Well, so. I, we definitely got to do that. And then we gotta what? Go, we got to go watch pro golfing. Jason said, let's go watch pro golfing. My brother hates pro golfing. My brother hates golfing in the first place. But then I told my brother, that I was like, hey, but you'd be down to like, do mini golf? He's like, yeah, because that's like the comedy version of. Yeah, golf. I'm like, I yes, mean, yes, heck yeah. Because you right. only get you get one club. Yeah, right. Everybody gets one. club. Everyone gets one club. Yeah, it's like, oh, I need my eight iron or yeah, blah, 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 and, and I need this, and then I got a birdie and all this stuff. So I'm like, how how many how many did you get it? Yeah, it took me four strokes. Got it. Okay. It's also the thing like. How can people just stand out there and sit in the sun in like somewhere like Florida? It's Orlando's it's crazy because those pro golfing things, they um, some people like they'll just stay at one hole, or maybe just like maybe three holes. Yeah, and that's all they'll do. And, and they I'm camp like, out all day. and they camp out all day. I'm like, no man, like I can't do that. Yeah, but NFL is my favorite. Go watch a football game. I want to go. Well, like I said, I want to take Jason to go watch a football game. That's like I really want to because he's never seen the craziness of an NFL game. But also to a Fresno State game, I really want to go to a Fresno State game because even college games get way crazy. Uh, and then those, uh, what else is there? Fresno State season's coming up. Fresno State season's coming up. Yes, it is. I really want to go do that. Uh, I want to go to an NFL game at least once. Oh, Nick, if you've never been, they're they're awesome. I don't so I've gone to uh Raiders and then gone to 49ers. Mm-hmm. I'm not a fan of either of them, but I don't care if it's pro well actually if it's pro anything, I'm I'm down to go watch. Yeah, really? I, if, if it's not even so I don't like the packy wackies. I don't like the packy wackies. Uh but if it's like, hey, you want to go to Packy Wacky game? Master Sith, what is up? I found uh, I have found memories of my dad taking me to every uh, season home 49 game at Candlestick. Saw some incredible fan fights growing up. Did you yeah. pull? Did you pull some of the <laughs> some of the building off of Candlestick with you? Oh yeah, did you take some of the building with you, dude? Man, that would have been a crazy place to go see Candlestick just because of like the weirdness. Yeah. of like that weird corner that they had yeah it was like nothing was there but i'd see people sitting there and every time i'd see them at candlestick sitting there i'm like mm. what are you doing but i guess it was just one of those like i just enjoy being here you yeah. know like i just love being here yeah. at a Our game culture. but that's the same thing with me too i just love being at not just pro but like 
the Grizzly games, I just love being there. We've gone to a Rawhide game to see the Grizzlies play, and I just love being there. Like the whole that was awesome. So, and that their stadium, the Rawhide stadium, is a lot different than Grizzlies. Very stadium. different. And it was a big culture shock to me when I went there. Like, yeah, me too. I was like, oh wow, like this is because it was even smaller and way different than uh, a Quakes game that I've been to it, in Rancho. It's like a the best way to describe their stadium and nothing against their stadium because it, it was really cool and it was unique there. yeah yeah but it was like a, a high school stadium yeah but yeah okay yeah yeah. yeah yeah i would say maybe some high school like or actually maybe a bit bigger well i mean but, but, Visalia, but you're right you know. yes yes it, it was it was high school yeah. looking um to answer her egg's question about where my family's from armenia armenia Ah, okay. So there's a difference. And, uh, Timlin, do you know where? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Uh, Lori, I haven't missed your, your Lee sandwich. I, I, I promise. <laughs> I promise. Um, but yeah, so pro, um, yeah, I think you've got to see a real hockey game. That, uh, the energy is awesome. Yeah, that's what Nick said. For sure. I bet. I bet. Yeah. But I really like those monster games. The monster I really, games cool. I really loved it. So yeah, um, e- even the loss, I still love just being there. Um, so I want you to go to a monster game when they're in the arena that I grew up. In. That's what I definitely want to. I Cause, really cause want to go. Those see a game are cool too. Uh, yeah, I bet. I definitely bet. Um, and then Nick also said, "Have you ever been to one of those uh, mean restaurants?" No, I have not. Oh, I, there is one. I think kind of around here. Uh, but went to Mark's Kitchen, Mark's Ki- yeah, Mark's Kitchen in Fresno. Uh, but Nick says Chicago. We uh, went to uh, is it Wiener Circle, Warner Circle, and Ed the 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 Bevit the Bevix. They're purposely rude to you and already and, and ready to argue insult you if you want to get into it. I I would love to go to that. I would love. So, it. I'm not. <laughs> well, you know, just because to me, I'm like, yeah, it like, yeah, like I, I know yeah. it's part of your thing, but like, nah. I, I, I would love to be like, I, I'm come, not, a, I'm not a fan of when the waiter and waitress are rude to me. Uh, I have seen, I have seen videos of a place I think What's in, in Florida, <laughs> yeah, uh, but a place I, I think, I think in, <laughs> I think a place in Florida where they, uh, are mean like, hurry up, or they'll throw like the menu at you. So I saw a video. <laughs> Of like an older lady going into one of those things, and she didn't know uh-huh. what the heck was happening. Like she didn't know; she just thought a restaurant. Yeah. Her daughter and granddaughter knew exactly what to expect. Okay. So when they walked in, and the waitress threw the menus on the ground, the grand was like, "Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Like, what's going on?" And they're and they're like, "Come on, like, hurry up! Are you gonna go sit at your table or not?" She's like, why is she being so rude to us? I saw the video where this girl, she she was like, she knew the restaurant she was going into. They were purposely rude. She knew that. And yeah. So she was like trying to be nice to them the whole time. And she was still being rude to her, the waitress. And then at the end, she's like, okay, well, I'm ready to pay. And she paid him pennies. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Heck yeah. I like that. So I like, like that. Like just a huge here's, job. Here's, <laughs> right, here's right back at you. That is hilarious. Yes, oh. Do you mind? Putting a poquito. Okay, master. <laughs> no, I'll do it then. Yeah. Um, Have you? Oh, you know the voice actor for Fix and Felix? Yes. I'm pretty sure he went to one of those places like that where they're just like super mean to you. That'd be hilarious <laughs> to, to <laughs> see that guy. He'd be like, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> I can just picture his voice. Um, uh, master Sith said, "I'll I'll get to Nick's question right now," but uh, Master Sith also said. Uh, for the Super Bowl, a lot of fan, a Niner fans tailgated the old candlestick really? grounds, and it was free. Oh, that's really that's cool. cool. Yeah, that's really awesome. Um, man, when when was the last, uh, like, Super Bowl that was held there? Or, like, they held, they had, like, a or this last uh, like a hosting Bowl. party? Well, well, candlestick is not there no more. The oh, whole, the whole place gone. is gone. Yeah, thank you. Jason got me some more orange juice. Thank you. La petite orange juice. 
Gracias, Jason. Um, <laughs> um, but did they, but Master said, did they host a Super Bowl like watch party or are you talking about when Super Bowl happened there? Because that's pretty cool. And like free? That's that's pretty insane because now parking for these NFL stadiums are like 55 bucks, 60 bucks. I'm like, what? It's like, so what was the total for the Super Bowl trip? Oh, like $3,000. Jeez. Okay. So well, what about the tickets? Oh, like 200 What was the rest for? Parking. Parking. It was offered parking. I paid 3000 bucks for parking. <laughs> when Craig and I have gone to Nindering, Nindering, when Craig and I have gone to Niner games, we park maybe about a mile and a half away mm -hmm. at some hotel that it's like a hotel and there's like a business area thing right there. And they, they've never said anything like they're completely cool because you're way far away from the stadium Yeah, that they don't care. But, uh, oh, I meant for this Super Bowl, fan just showed up, uh, with a screen to watch the and party. Hey, that's hey awesome. yeah, that's really cool. What, was it? what the heck? I, I forgot somewhere there was like some people were just in the parking lot. Maybe it was there. Maybe uh, it was candlestick. Candlestick, maybe. Well, no, no, no. It was like we, we were driving by and we saw it. I don't remember where we were, but uh, it was people having a Super Bowl watch party in a parking lot. We Here? did? No, 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 no. Like we saw people. I forgot where. In a parking lot. Oh, 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 no. Well, they weren't doing a watch party. They were just hanging out, like, before. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I thought they were going to, like, see you. Well, I mean, I don't know what they did after. I'm not too sure. But, yes, you're right. We were and at... Out, like, I was like, go Niners. Yeah, because I was like, no KC. And the only reason why they didn't want KC to win... Well, Timberland didn't want KC to win because they suck. Yeah. Um, but because I just wanted to only watch Tim Brittany do a back-to-back -back Super Bowl... So that's why I was like, no, 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 Casey, no, no, no. But, I mean, that was pretty much the only reason. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we were in the parking lot of Walmart, and then there was just like, I don't know, 35, 40 people in the parking lot. with that like this one? Yeah, at, oh. at, not, with Niners stuff and all that stuff, flags, yeah. just hanging out. <laughs> I was like, yeah, nice, okay. Um, but yeah, that's pretty crazy. Like, let's just show up and let's. Let's well, go there. One of the cool about sports is like a lot of it until you really start paying attention to it. Before you're just like, I could care less about like things like hockey. I wasn't really into hockey. But then once we started going to the games, I started enjoying myself. Heck so, yeah. So heck yeah. All sporting events, you can watch them on TV and say, all right, that's cool. Yeah. It's when you go and you experience it like live, it's like, oh wow. No, this is like well, this is awesome. I don't like basketball. Yeah, but I'll definitely go to to like a live. Yeah, like Fresno like State. Even, Heck yeah. Yeah, even just the Fresno State. Fresno State. State I'll go. Like super big. Hey, I'll I'll big. even go watch a high school basketball team play. But like watch it on TV. That's the one thing I'm like I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna watch basketball. Maybe TV. that's why I only occasionally like come to the room and watch some football. Hmm. It's like maybe for like ten minutes. I'm like okay, I'm done. Yeah. No. Yeah. I've never gone to like a physical game. Yeah, I definitely want to take Jason to go watch a game because that's pretty cool. But Nick also said, put a GoPro uh, on your club. Might be hilarious. That <laughs> that would be hilarious. I just hope that wouldn't get everyone all busy. Like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whoops. Or the GoPro goes, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we should put a top call. Put the uh, GoPro on the club. On the club. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> Oops, just let it go. <laughs> we got to go to Top Golf. We've gone to a Top Golf, just not on the channel. Yeah. Very fun. Mm -hmm. Top golf is really fun. Um, and then uh, Nick like, also said, he likes, is it? he likes the Cowboys. You know what's crazy? So, actually, my problem with the Cowboys is has always just been the owner. Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones is the reason why the Cowboys get nothing and they are in the rut that they are in because that guy just does not let them get past. The next part, Jerry Jones acts as though he's the he's the coach. I mean, he is the owner, but he acts like he's everything, yeah. you know. And I am the players. He is also the players. So my problem with the Cowboys all the time has always been the owner. Once they get past having him as owner, which is going to be tough because that guy does not want to leave. Uh, that's when I feel like the Cowboys can move forward. In making stuff happen, like, like, the 
<laughs> yeah, it's like there you go. See what happened. That's all you needed. Um, but like they let t- they let Tony Pollard go. Who the heck do they have now? <laughs> Who's their? I mean, if if I didn't know their second running back, even less now. Like I don't know who the heck they got. Yeah, they haven't signed anyone as far as I've seen. They haven't signed anyone. So yeah, very much like what are you guys doing? But that's what happens when you got the owner being the scout, the coach, the GM, the player, <laughs> everything. So what does the GM mean? Grandmaster? Yeah, grandmaster. In his case, it does. <laughs> General manager. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, in his case, that's exactly the grandmaster. Yeah. Uh, but Lori, Lee sandwiches. Okay. Jeez. Huh? 20 years later. I know. I'm sorry, Lori. I'm sorry, sorry, Lori. It's just that we were getting there. Yeah. It was a build, you know. I just like to build the anticipation yeah. of it, you know? Have you ever tried? I, I don't think yes, I, I have. Huh? Jerry Jones being cheap. See? Exactly. That's very true. That's the same, too. Or Jerry Jones. Sorry, I promise, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> but also Jerry Jones paying the wrong people. Like when, uh, when Elliot was like, hey, pay me money. And then he still had like two years on the contract. He's yeah. like, I'm not going to play for you if you don't pay me my money. It's like, Yo, hold on, bro. You're still under contract, though. Yeah. And you're going to say you're not going to play, but you already got the money that we were going to give you for those two years before you, have, you haven't even played those two years. Yeah. And you're saying that you're going to walk out. But then there they are. They gave him the money. and He did nothing. And he did nothing. Nothing at all. And I also felt like – so. Dak, I think, is not an amazing quarterback. Is he a bad quarterback? No, not at all. But Dak has taken pay cuts so then these other guys can get paid with good faith that, all right, like, it's going to be my turn. Yeah. And they've never done that to him. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, bro, like, you know what? You yourself have to get out of there because I don't think – and I don't think Jerry Jones sees as that's – the reason why you could win a Super Bowl because of Dak. Well, because of the quarterback. Yeah, it's like no, no, no. Um, there's other spots where we could spend the money. Candice, hey, hola, Candice, how are you? Hello. Miss you. Jason said hello. Um, yeah, I think I don't believe Jerry Jones thinks that Super Bowl wins come from a quarterback, which. Quarterback is a huge reason why you can. Um, But then also with them not paying Dak, that just messes with a dude's confidence all the time. Like, man, like, why don't they think I'm good enough? And then, so, you know, Dak is only really good in the regular season. That too. That too. When it comes down to pressure, you know, not good. But that's why the same thing with Kirk Cousins. I have, I am so crazy happy. Kirk Cousins is gone for the Vikings. Like, whew, man, when I heard talks about that, they might um, resign him or extend his contract. I'm like, why? Why, dude? And there's a bunch of people that have told me many times. <laughs> here, here we go. <laughs> uh, there's many times. She saw a cat. There's many times where people are like, oh, but Kirk Cousins is amazing. Oh, my, 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 my. Um, <laughs> <smack talk. laughs> Kirk Cousins is horrible. All right, when people are like, he's a good, he's a good quarterback. Like, no, he's not. The reason why the guy gets good numbers is because teams are literally letting him throw in the middle of the field because then they want the ball back. Yeah. That's what we call trash yards. That's why the guy gets some pretty good numbers, but overthrows the ball like crazy, intercepts the ball like crazy. He under pressure, the guy can't. Do anything. Woo, sports. <laughs> <laughs> Lee sandwiches. Lee sandwiches. All okay. Right. For real this time. <laughs> Let's For see. Real. <laughs> I'll, I'll get to Purdy right now. I can go on so, about Purdy too. Sandwiches. sandwiches. We were talking about Disneyland. Sandwiches, yes. though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lori. So it was good. Okay. But explain <laughs> football <laughs> like a sandwich. <laughs> You guys are too awesome. I'm serious. <laughs> That's Kirk Cousins. <laughs> the extra bed part, we're like, well, no, I don't yeah, want the, that the stuff. Butts, I call them the, butt, the butt ends of the, yeah, the, the loaves. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lori. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, 
But yeah, so Lee sandwiches was good. I have heard uh, a few people telling me like, oh, try this one or try that one. Mm -hmm. It's just because when I had, when I thought of like grilled chicken, mm -hmm. again, um, I, it's not an Italian place, right? It's, uh, it was Asian and European sandwiches and I got an Asian style of like chicken. Okay. So I was thinking like Italian style chicken grilled mm -hmm. and it wasn't that, but it's just not my liking of chicken. Okay. That I got the Turkey club was, I mean, that that's a classic Turkey club that I got, you know, like you can't really go anything crazy, but I didn't like that they did. Uh, they put, well, Timberland will like it because they put mayonnaise. Oh, He's yeah. like, don't do that. But they put, they, they could have put my master said two dollars. Thanks, dude. Walk San Diego Zoo in one day. Legs almost <laughs> fell off. That's a huge zoo. You, All right, uh, that's a huge zoo. You deserve a medal for you, that. Yeah, man. you. I should give you back those two because <laughs> those two dollars because oh my gosh like that that is crazy that you did that man Watch the next that's one. a huge and and not not only that but like if i remember right i only went when i was a little kid long time ago okay long time ago and if i remember right san diego zoo also is like killy yeah i bit. only went one time too and i remember hills. So, so man i could only imagine that like oh all day i would definitely want to do that i'd want to do like a whole entire day there yeah. at the san diego zoo but oh my gosh, like, dude, good job, man. Like, I bet you had like 24,000 steps. <laughs> That's insane. With like maybe 10, uh, 10 uh, stair floors. Oh, yeah. Probably. Man, good for you. So, with Lee Sandwiches, the Turkey Club was pretty good? The Turkey Club was pretty good. Okay. It just wasn't like, a, like, whoa, awesome. Okay. If they would have put the mustard in the sandwich, Right, yeah, like it, uh, it, it like. like well, they gave me a packet, packet of mustard. What? I was like, no, like it, you, you could put my my mustard in. It's okay, I promise. I'm not gonna get mad. Like you put, you could put my mustard inside kidding. my sandwich. So they they put the mayonnaise in, but they didn't put the mustard. That's in. why I was kind of like, hey, that's a little like interesting because yeah, they put the mustard on the side, but the mayonnaise in, which I would figure maybe be the other way around. That's what I would put the mustard and then give me the option. Mm -hmm. If I want mayonnaise, but <laughs> yeah, but then, uh, so I wasn't too sure if I, sh if I should, I have a thing with having bacon at restaurants because a bunch of times I don't make it the way I like it. I like my bacon crispy. Okay. And then, and the, the bacon in the sandwich was good. Okay. But that's why, um, I did see on the sandwich, it said bacon and stuff. Okay. So that's why I was a little like, Hmm, should I, uh, but it was good. It just wasn't. Like, uh, I guess maybe the reason why I'm used to uh, Deli B, they have like the Dutch crunch. Okay. Or sometimes they have like Parmesan cheese type of bread. Okay. So maybe I was just expecting more of the bread. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and it was okay, you know, not bad, but just like, yeah, for a like club, a turkey club thing, I wouldn't. Like, oh, let me go there first. But it was it was still good. Okay. Right. But yeah, and then the chicken was it was, you know, it was chicken. You know? Would you go there again? I do want to go there again because okay. I want to try the pork. I've had a few people tell me about like the pork sandwich. Try okay. that one. And then they they do have a few other ones, like European style type of sandwich. And then I was gonna try a bao bun. The only everything sounded really good in the bao bun, mm. but when they got to quail egg, I was like, "Oh no, you lost me. You lost me. Sorry, Levi. What's up? What's How up, you buddy? doing, Levi? It was awesome hanging out with you on the weekend. How's your foot doing? Uh, Levi was on crutches. Oh really? Yeah. So when we showed up to do the geocaching, I was like, "Dude, are you gonna be all right?" <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine." It's like, "All right, man." And there he was, you know, going along. <laughs> so what happened when they were go, when they were geocaching? Uh -huh. I think it was the week before. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he had like a splinter going to his foot, the bottom of his foot. Ooh, okay. And then I guess he didn't say nothing for so like. So he just you just walked on it for bud? like four days. No, nothing oh, at all. So oh, it not just, even. Yeah, that not night. even like that night. Not even like the next day, but it like kept getting bigger and bigger. 
yeah so then they had to like drain it take out all the stuff and yeah when i saw him in crutches i was like dude <laughs> so it like, is okay when you have something happen it is okay to say hey hey uh i think my foot hurts <laughs> yeah like it's okay you don't have to tough it out you know no no there, there's levi he's like i got this i got this i don't need no help <laughs> yeah out for real yeah um but yes i definitely would go back okay but yeah just the I, again, remember, I'm not. I'm barely getting into the, into the trying new things. Okay, barely getting into it. That's why I need to take other people on. Well, I know, I know. That's why you so many times have been like, well, that's why I need to be there. Yes. Like anybody else? Really? <laughs> anybody else? Well, you see that? Anybody I'm else? Like, I don't want to try it. You're just gonna have Tim and I going like, mm -mm. right? But everything was everything was sounding good. But right when he got to the quill, like, I was like, no, mm -hmm. no. But it sounded good. The album sounded good. And then they also had another one of like a bean paste, I think it was. And that too. Nothing crazy, right? But I was like, This is a, another Balbun. Another Balbun. Okay. Well, and I yeah, I was like, Balbun bean paste would be good. Yeah, it might be all right. So I don't know what a traditional Balbun is. I only know of the ones at this one. They're, they're good. So they are good. 10 out of well, 10 recommend. You didn't like the. I didn't like the pork. The or pork was no, 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 it wasn't the pork. No, 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 uh, the yeah, 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 it was the pork. Yeah. After with Candace, you tried the veggie and you were like, no, yeah, I, I mean, chicken's the way to go, the chicken, yeah, uh, but yes, you're right, the pork because it was like a, a barbecue ish, but not like barbecue like you think, yeah, it was like a different style of barbecue taste, yeah, um, so yeah, yeah, the veggie one was pretty nasty, yeah, <laughs> Candace said, <laughs> yeah, uh. Yes, fat little dumpling in Fresno. Very, very good. Very yeah, good, actually. Pork. I forgot which ones we did get. I'm pretty sure it was pork and that's all. No, um, maybe, actually. So. We got to do an actual food review of fat little dumpling. Oh, that's right next to Houston Hot Chicken. Wasn't that where we were actually going to try? Yeah, we were going to go to Houston Hot Not, Not we were. We did go to Houston Hot Chicken. But as we were driving up there, Jason was like, hey, look it. Fat Little Dumpling. I was like, hey, well, you know what? Let's try a couple of their dillies. And then, yeah, they were good. But I would go back to Sam, uh, to Sam's. I'm looking at Sam Darnold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would go back to Lee Sandwiches to try other stuff for sure. And then also, uh, Horig and Lori said, Fo triple seven. Fo, fa, right? Fa. If if someone were to tell me pho or pho, I'd be like, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Um, I don't know where that uh, pho 777 is, though. Yeah, where is that? I've never heard of that. There was a – where's the Marco's Pizza you told me about? That's on um, Herndon? So Herndon and Armstrong. Okay, then that's exactly the Marco's Pizza I saw. So yeah. when I went to go to uh, – I randomly went to a donut place. I was like, hey, look, Marco's Pizza. Mm -hmm. I think that's the one that Tim was telling me. That, about. Yeah. Um, there's only two, to my knowledge. Okay. And they're both ran by the same guy. I do know the owner. Okay. Um, he's a nice guy. He knows the ins and outs of Marco's Pizza. Yeah. So, nice. Um, uh, I know of Faux 75. I don't know. Well, so there's a, a pho, Again, sorry if I'm saying it wrong. But Close, um, willow, knees. Okay. willow and knees. Okay, then that's not the one. There's a pho place yeah. in that shopping center. Yeah. And then there's also Mediterranean food. That's the Armenian place. Okay. See, so that right when I got to that thing and I saw like it's pizza. Called Park. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. When I saw the Marcos and then the Mediterranean and then the pho, I was yeah. like, whoa, that's like a triple header right there. So that section actually is newer. Yes. Um, before that was just trees. I remember when I worked there at Subway, it mm -hmm. was just trees. Okay. And then there's that Mexican restaurant that's right across from the Subway in the same parking lot. That also was new too. Okay. So when they built that, they also built those areas too. Nice. And right. then they're doing a whole lot more stuff now. Are they? Yeah. I, across there's, the street. There's still a lot of stuff that they could do across okay. the street. And I, and before I left yeah. Subway, they were talking about 
doing stuff across the street. Got so it. it doesn't surprise me. All right. Nice. Uh, Ashley did say he's off the crutches. Very good. good. Good job. You did it. You did it, Levi. Nice. Um, next time, you got to try Vietnamese coffee. Oh, we saw Vietnamese coffee, remember, at River Park. Was it Vietnamese oh, coffee? Oh, no, we yeah, did. I, I remember that. Okay. Because we, uh, we tried the mushroom coffee. We tried the mushroom one, which yeah. was interesting. Yeah. It tasted, so, it tasted like coffee until the end, and then it's like, oh, okay, now there's something different. So I, I so when we ate the mushroom, I don't know if I explained uh, on the thing, that I, I kind of asked the guy, I was like, <laughs> hey, like, we're going to eat these, right? What kind of mushrooms are these? <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, yeah, all good. Well, I was like, hey, I'm just, you know. Yeah. He also didn't seem a little yeah, you know, he he did not definitely seem like he was there. I was like, hey. And he was just like, here. Like, yeah, he just ran and, in and was and like, here. You know, <laughs> I was like, hey. And of course. you know, Can I trust ones, you? Yeah. We're, we're the ones like, yeah, well, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. You know, candy from a stranger? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> like I said, at the hockey game. Ran, oh, yeah, yeah. That random lady. Yeah. The random lady was like. Candy from a stranger? Yes. Yes. Give me some, please. <laughs> Stay away from the streams, Candace said. I know, right? But that's why I had to ask. Just just in case. I was like, I right, just in case. Like, hey, yeah, uh, so it's all good, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Just well, that's you know. I had, like, mushrooms, I was like, Wait, Jason, hold on. Let me ask. <laughs> uh let me see. Uh okay, you don't even that... know what you're gonna ask. Okay. Ashley did say Deli D is good, my favorite. Their tri tip. I did not know Deli D had tri tip sandwich. I, I don't eat Deli D, so because I worked at Subway, he doesn't like. He does yeah, not. I, that does worked, not go with him. I worked at Subway for a very long time. Get that out of my face. Um, <laughs> I'm very loyal to Subway, Get that piece of corn, so uh -huh. it's really hard for me to try like Lee sandwiches. Oh, even and, any sandwich. Well, I mean, with like the exception sandwich. of Doghouse. Okay. And that's because I went to Doghouse well, before Subway. Oh, so it had to be before. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, I think I've, we're going to have to get... I've tried Jersey Mike's while I was with Subway. Ooh. And it was, it was good. It was, it was expensive. I've tried Jersey Mike's, and I was like, yeah, it was, it was, yeah. It was all right. Yeah. You know? But I think, I think we're going to have to take Timberland on a sandwich <laughs> touring adventure yeah. where all we do all day is just, just eat, eat sandwiches. sandwiches, not from Subway. And then again, we have to document and be like, yeah, here he goes. Candace, there he goes. Candace would tell you, I just love sandwiches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty simple, right? <laughs> I did have someone, uh, I believe maybe it was Senkal Grizzly said to do another sandwich video. I, I did that like mm -hmm. a while ago. I was just here and I made a random sandwich you video. Try making, like, a gourmet sandwich with, like, Candace said, Deli D is the way. Like, yeah, well, gourmet for sure. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I tried to do that. Um, like, like, track. Just, just a little bit. Let me see. My favorite restaurant ever, it's a dumping plate, dumpling place. It's amazing. Base Tatum and I. Favorite. The, mm -hmm. okay. I, I got to go try. I've never had pho. 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 Uh, I don't even know what to call it. I, I've always called it pho. I guess it's pho. Yeah. Okay. So. And Hurig also said that her friend's parents own Ark. Oh, okay. That's really cool. We have to go to Ark then. Be like, look it. This is this is this is Hurig's place. <laughs> like, no, it's not my place. Yes, it is. <laughs> Every time I come back to Fresno, there's always a new place uh, opening. It's surprising, actually. Good. I, I hope so. We've gone to like how many new really opening places? Like you went to Kane's. Canes. Mm -hmm. two, hands two, two hands corn dog. Corn dog. There you go. Um, maybe that's it. Well, yeah. So many like, places. Hey, it's happening. Yeah. The whole Central Valley area is getting I mean, just bigger and bigger. Uh, you know, two hands corn dogs is in the cookie place within like not too long. Or something. As she said, what deli D is bomb. But so is Subway. I haven't had Subway in a while. So the reason why I actually have never pushed like Subway mm -hmm. here is because I could have sworn Beverly Lily was like, I don't like that. Oh. So I've, I've never been like, oh, like Subway. <laughs> oh. And then when I told her that, she was like, what? 
I like Subway. I was like, I could have sworn you didn't. Yeah. Uh, you there so long. See, and see, that's my we're opposite. Got it. I got free Subway for a year and a half. Well, you, it's it's free sandwich. <laughs> yeah, years ago. Yeah. I got it for five. <laughs> <laughs> and Tim's still loyal. I got to have my Subway. If, if I'm going to be like, all right, yeah, let's go to sandwich place. It's going to be Subway. <laughs> You know what though? Yes, there were, there were times. Is, there were times where I was like, I got no money for nothing else. Hi. I guess I'm getting the subway sandwich. Did you hear Candace? Yes. yes, that is Candace. That Candace. That Candace. She said, and she even said, "Is that Katie?" <laughs> <laughs> what up, Don Cheeto? How's it going? Hope you're having an awesome night, <laughs> an awesome day today. So far, midweek. I hope you have a rest, a awesome rest of the week, and so on and so on. Weekend, spring break, maybe. spring break, maybe. Unless that already happened, then I hope you. Have I think it's next week, isn't it, for Central Valley kids? I think so. Uh, Nick said tuna subway. Your fault. My fault. <laughs> Jk. So JK, JK. actually, I don't like mayonnaise, but. Like, I don't want to, when we make the tuna sandwich, we make the tuna. Okay. We mix the mayonnaise and it has, and the tuna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was the only one that would do it right. Whoa. Um, my, <laughs> my bosses would make it very little mayonnaise. Okay. Everybody else would put too much mayonnaise. Okay, okay. Was there no, like, set value? Show there off. Is, uh, well, yeah, show off. But. Show off. Like, excuse me, you, you get you guys yeah. don't know, you guys don't know what you're, yeah. what you're doing. Get out of here. Um, but it, there was, but it's nobody would follow the, but, but why not? It's like the easiest part because everybody thinks that they know, but they don't know because they don't. Talk is stop to make an appearance, stop being shy. <laughs> <laughs> everybody named your dude in the comments. <laughs> uh, so I haven't made my chicken salad because Timberland doesn't like the mayonnaise. So I'm like, all right, so I haven't made that. Or I've made it. Actually, no, I haven't made it in a while. But yeah, because Timberland doesn't like mayonnaise. <clears throat> so I'm like, eh. But, but check this out. I recently, just like two days ago, mm -hmm. made spaghetti. Only because I knew Timberland. <laughs> Because I was, because I was Tim, working late. Timberland so. was working late. So he wasn't going to be home till like <laughs> four in the morning. Is one Timberland Wait, was, was that home. the four? That was a four in the morning. Yeah, so I, I made spaghetti. I had quite a few of those shits. Spaghetti, 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 because I was like, well, he's not going to be here. So, you know, <laughs> and that's why Timberland doesn't like spaghetti. It, a lot spaghetti of is, specifically. Yeah. And uh, the noodles, it, a lot of it is just because as a kid, Friday nights. I did not break the noodles. Night. No. No. That is not no, allowed here in this you house. You are the only did you one. Buy the half noodles? No. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> did not buy no half noodles. No. 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 That's. Even though I don't eat spaghetti, I don't agree with breaking the noodles <laughs> or buying <laughs> half noodles. No. Oh, yeah, no. So I don't like. Like, get another can, one. I don't like spaghetti either. Can I put sour cream in it? Oh, no. Uh, so, so Candice, do you mind if I share? Uh, I'll I'll ask what what you do with your spaghetti, if you don't mind me. Ooh. Well, okay, go okay. ahead. So Candice likes to put sour cream. I guess they all do like to put sour cream in in their spaghetti. Yes, it's the best. Mm, I don't know about that. You're lucky I'm not Italian. I tried Comment it. down. <laughs> Jason tried it. I tried it. I was still very. It was very. Good. Why have Weird. you forsaken me? Does she throw it on the wall? So okay, when when I was telling her that, like, oh yeah, you gotta throw the spaghetti on the wall. She looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> Wait, but yeah, she's on, the one on, that you, puts. You want to break the, yeah. the You want to break the spaghetti, yeah. and then you want to put sour, sour cream. <laughs> But I like I'm, mayo. I'm the crazy one. Mayo in Mexican rice, Lori. Well, but I guess that's not too off, though. You know, 
Just spaghetti? Mayo? Sour cream? But mayo? But mayo? Yes, I said, but mayo? I agree with mayo that's, and rice. I, I didn't agree with that. I don't agree with mayo and rice. Well, but that would make, <laughs> at least, that's like... No, no. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put mayo in my rice. Wait, I'm not. I'm not gonna no, do it. Like mayo, mayo, or like, no, mayo, mayo. Yeah. This is Lori said, said, "Yeah." <laughs> the only thing mayo belongs on is like you know those street vendors. said, oh, "Interesting." Yeah. Hurik, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, <laughs> I think I just lost my Mexican card. <laughs> hey, we didn't say it. You said it, Lori. <laughs> and sandwiches, but like, I'm, almost, I'm about to spark a heated debate. But is mustard or mayo better? Mustard. I think mustard. I think mustard personally. I used to, yeah. I used to think mayo, but then I stopped being. Mayo. So, I um, tell my sister I need <laughs> to say hi on camera because I miss her. Revoked for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I found something interesting that I tried, and it actually wasn't terrible. Um, is say? mustard on popcorn. Uh, it's a little weird. I don't do it often, but I was like, oh, let's just try it. You know, what, what's what, the worst that well, can happen here? How, how did you even get to the thing of trying that? Um, Moon, what's up? How are you doing? What a strange part of this conversation <laughs> to jump into. <laughs> I know, mayo, Mexican rice. <laughs> is something I've never heard of. <laughs> I think this part of the no mustard for me. For yes. <laughs> Moon's like, what the heck are you guys talking about? <laughs> we went from, from Disneyland to sour cream. You know we talked about football. Maybe we talked about football. <laughs> I think I'm going to see myself back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Who yeah. said no mustard for me? Really? Well, well, I could see that though with mustard because mustard is a strong taste. Yeah, but, but then also mayo. But mayonnaise. If you put too much of it in your sandwich or something, it tastes horrible. Yeah, it does. Yes, it does. So I'm not a like mayo fan, but I could do it like you. You could like you could sprinkle some on. That's fine. So if I forget to order it, like not to like say hey no mayo mm -hmm. on my sandwich or whatever, I'm not gonna get well. I'm not gonna get too upset. Very important discussion. And yeah, mustard on popcorn sounds like a no. <laughs> but what I want to know, how what was that like a, an idea given to you, or were you just like, I yeah. got mustard right here? One of I my... got popcorn. Let's just see how this goes. <laughs> One of my friends posted on Facebook, like, oh, you gotta try this. I was like, and you did. I well, can't believe I you like, did. Well, I mean, I can't... we go to the movies all the time. Have, have oh, you ever wow. seen where it's like, have you guys ever tried pine cone jam? And then this guy is like, have you guys ever tried barbecue <laughs> Oh, <hammers?"> yeah. <laughs> have you ever tried barbecue hammers? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, not a fan of, like, super mayo sandwich. Yeah, yeah, right? No, like, super mayo makes it super yeah. soggy. Like, I could, I could do with some, right? So my brother hates sour cream. I hate hates it. Too. Don't even, don't even think about doing anything with sour cream. So, um, I do make my dip, uh -huh. like dips and chip, with sour cream, and then like that classic powder, yeah, it's a dip uh, powder thing that you mix. So, my brother does try my dip, okay, but because I tell him, look, dude, like it's not sour cream, I, and I tell him, I know the package on this thing says sour cream, yeah, it's like, but. When I when I do the dip thing, it's not sour cream. I just open it up, and it's dip. Yeah. And he's like, I'm. He, he knows so I'm completely. Yeah. He knows I'm completely being dumb. But I'm like, no, no, no. Like I just open up the thing and like, boom, there it is. It's dip. Yeah. But you know, I use the uh, the the powder stuff and mix it. So then one time, his wife, she did the same thing that I do. Uh -huh. and she's like, look at, I made dip. And my brother's like, no, uh -uh. he's like. It's the same one that Greg makes. He's like, no, nope, you didn't make it the same. He's like, all he does is stir and mix the thing. He's like, you didn't mix it right. So I'm not gonna have none of that. <laughs> so I'm like, it's it's a technique, it's yeah. a technique in the stir where it's just not sour cream. I it's just can't, dip. I can't stand the smell of it. Mm -hmm. Just like I can't stand the smell of ranch. Oh, that's another one. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't like ranch. Um, Do you like none of the white like sauces? Pretty much. We went to uh, we went to 
what was it? Uh, Hall of Flame, Hall of Flame, the, the burger place. Mm. And then uh, I got three ranch. I was like, three ranch. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot that he doesn't like ranch. And then I was like, oh, ranch. He's like, no, I don't do that. I was like, oh, that's right. Well, more for me. Then. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? No ranch? I know. Crazy. I know. I like the ranch. What kind of ranch is your favorite one? I I, I would think though uh, that like classic buttermilk ranch. You know the one that you dip your chicken nuggets into. I'm yeah, not, I'm not missing out. But Tim is missing out. <laughs> <laughs> I know no ranch. It's okay. Yeah, I mean like I'm not like a super fan like where I'm putting more ranch. Yeah. Than like chicken strips or anything. You know, like I'm not dipping my whole hand in it. Like, yeah, but you can drink ranch. I can drink a oh. ranch. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you, see, like you, that. You put mayonnaise in your rice, and now you can drink <laughs> ranch. Yeah. Well, dang. It's okay. I drink hot sauce. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Lori, we need to be friends. <laughs> I'm not judging, but like, I can't imagine certain foods without ranch. <laughs> That's too hilarious. Oh, wow. That's a little too far drinking it. <laughs> hey, people like their stuff, you know? People, Adrian, what's up? What's up, dude? Late update is Adrian. Uh, and uh, I think I mentioned it actually in the last live that we did. Adrian is the reason why we did the whole dog red carpet, saw the screening. Which was really cool. I was not expecting it to be as good as it was. Yeah, very awesome. And then I actually... Uh, it just says, hey, Timberland, what's up? Well, he didn't say what's up. I'm saying what's up. I'm adding stuff. Yeah. My, my bad. Uh, <laughs> but also, Adrian has another uh, adventure plan. We have another adventure plan thing okay. that he's hooking it up with. So, Adrian, I'm telling you, you're too awesome, dude. Seriously. Uh, hey, do you just want to drop by and say hi? Got my daughter, Millie, here with me. Millie! What's, what's up, up Millie? Millie? How you doing? I want to say hi to her. Uh, she, she would love that. We're going to bed, though. All right. So well, what, what time is it? Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. You're right. Wink, oh. wink. Yes. It's a, it's going to be an awesome adventure. I, I don't want to say nothing. It, it's not, it's not no secret or anything, but just because like the, what it is, I'm like, Hey man, that's an awesome. One. And I don't think anyone, if, and I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Adrian, but I don't know if anyone's ever done any, that type of, of adventure with it. What? I'll tell you after. Okay. Again, just so build up, because then if you already know, if crew, if you already know, then you're like, well, I don't got to watch. Spoils the surprise. Yes, it right? Is. Surprise, surprise. I want to know the surprise. No. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Uh, I, I'm I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll come along with me. You can tell if it's okay, but uh, it'll be cool either way. Okay, I'll tell. I guess I'll just tell. <laughs> it's a, a, a goat farm. I'm not too sure where the goat farm is. Okay. And and it's gonna be like it's gonna be interesting, Adrian, because um, I'm not mustard on pretzels. That is good. I'm good with that. That's I'm good with that. Just because they also make cheese and goat cheese. I'm like, hmm. Have you ever tried goat cheese? But it's for the channel. I have never tried goat cheese because I'm like, nah, I don't do that. But it's for the channel, Adrian. So I'm so down. <laughs> He also said it's going to be like super cute o overload because there's going to be a bunch of kids, mm -hmm. not kids, but kids as in goat kids. Oh, okay. They, they call them kids? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, baby goats. Like, like oh. kids. Did not know that. I have tried goat and I don't like it. It's you, not my thing. You said you made lamb. I guess I like that. I have made a rack of lamb. I've smoked rack of lamb a couple times and I did not eat it. Because I don't like it. Why did you but I did it smoke then? it. Because people here wanted. So I was like, I'll make it. But Why yes. Did you eat, like McDonald's? No, I made tri-tip. It was tri-tip and rack of lamb. Oh, my goodness. Um, it'll be fun. Hey, much love. Thank you. Shouting out, Millie. Have a good night. Thank you, Adrian, so much. You're awesome. Millie, have an awesome night. Have a great day tomorrow. Have an awesome rest of the week and weekend. I really appreciate you, Adrian and Millie. You guys are way too awesome. Buenos nachos. Good night. <laughs> uh, it all depends on how it's prepared, and you have to wash it really good. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I I wouldn't even know how to wash go, go about that. Yeah. You know, also, any of like, that. 
you know those like people like on YouTube who are like steak gurus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so when I made, uh, isn't BDI traditionally goat? Yes, BDI is traditionally goat, but a bunch of times when you go to like these places that they have like BDI, um, Rayad, what's up? How you doing today? How you doing tonight? Actually, um, iguana. What? Oh man, Lori, you're adventurous. No, I don't know about that one. That's not good. But yes, uh, BDI usually is goat, but for the most part, if you go to like a taco place, mm -hmm. it's gonna be uh, beef. So, would you say Americanized? Okay, yeah, like restaurants. I think taco so. Places. Because if you get like Bidia, especially at Disneyland, you get like those Bidia tacos mm. that they got or Gesa Bidia. Yeah, I think it's yeah. in um, DCA. DCA, yeah. That's going to be beef, not goat. Okay. But yes, you're very right. It is a goat traditionally. Uh, but yeah, iguana soup. Man, that's that's an interesting one. Candace says, so delicious. The iguana soup? The iguana soup. <laughs> oh, oh okay, okay. Oh, got it. <laughs> but but maybe, too. but maybe Candace <laughs> has tried the iguana. Uh, Lori, where'd you try iguana? That's an interesting one. I was gonna try one time. We went to what was the place called? Eddie's World. Going to Vegas. Oh yeah, yeah. And they have a place, or they have a spot Ooh. there. Um, no, I've never, uh, no, I've tried crocodile though. Why would you do that? Why, Candace? <laughs> Actually, iguana cured uh, my migraines. Okay. 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 We'll get That's an interesting. We'll no, nah, it's fine. I'll, I'll stick with the migraine. I'll be like, ah, no. <laughs> um, but anyway. when it's beef, it's called barbacoa. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Um, but. The uh, oh, what happened? my phone tried to connect to it. Oh, got it. Sorry, that's okay. I, was I tried it in Mexico specifically for the migraines. Okay. Got it. Okay, I didn't even know that that was a thing. Hmm, you got your Mexican card back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You got it back. <laughs> hey, Lori, take it away yourself. <laughs> But you got it back. <laughs> uh, I've heard that iguana tastes like like chicken. chicken. Okay, isn't that what everybody says though? I know, right? That's that's true. Oh, this tastes like chicken. Chicken tastes like everything. <laughs> um, can you put mayo on the meat though? No, no, <laughs> no. That that'd be like a, a double no for, for me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I had the same question at one of your videos. It said, "Where did the dogs?" Oh, um, so to a special place. <laughs> to a special place. <laughs> so, uh, not everyone that went to the dog red carpet, uh, actually, maybe not any of them. I don't think they went to watch the yeah, movie. Yeah, no, I think they were just there for that little whatever, the, like dog yeah. meat. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, like meat and greet. I was talking about meat. No, no, no. We're not talking about that meat. <laughs> The meat and the meat they're, and they're still alive. They're still alive. I promise. All the dogs are, are fine. Uh, so I didn't take our dogs, any of them, because they're crazy. So our big dogs, fine with dogs. Well, actually, they're even better with little dogs. They love little dogs. Uh, but big dogs, they might be like, I don't know. Hold on. It's the small one, Toby, who's like, Hey, you, 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 yeah. you. So uh, I didn't take ours at all. But for the, I, I would say all of the people who took their dogs didn't watch the movie no they were just there for just to for, say what's up that yeah hang um, out the person that was i think running it yeah um she was giving out doggy treats yeah that she made yeah um, ebony yeah ebony is the owner of bentley's barkery okay and then uh she sells her treats at tails at river park that dog oh. or not just dog it's a pet store yeah there so and it's crazy because we went in there before to see uh, just the store, like, weeks and weeks before. And I saw all the treats. And I was like, yo, these treats look, like, real fancy. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was the store. We're like, eh, let's go check it out. Yeah, we just oh, ran. And, yeah. and we got in there. I think this is a dog store. I think so. <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. um, but, yeah, all the her treats are in there. 
And then uh, the bummer part is that Ashley didn't watch the movie with us because there was supposed to be dog watchers. Yes, thumbs up. Yes. Here, let's give a... Yes, fireworks. Um, there was supposed to be a dog watcher there for the movie. Yeah. But then I guess the people didn't show up like last minute. They told Ebony like, hey, um, we're not going to be there. And she was kind of like, well, would I? But people are going to like leave their dogs with you guys. So <laughs> Ebony did say that she was able to watch like two dogs and then her son was able to watch like two other dogs. Yeah. Uh, but then Ashley, I told Ashley, she was like, no, I'll just hang around here with Charlie. So Ashley didn't watch the movie with us. It was just Manny and Levi. Mm. Uh, and then Charlie and Ashley just walked around uh, River Park hanging out. I really like Charlie. When we went geocaching, I was talking to him. Yeah. It was, <laughs> well, it was funny because Charlie was like, you guys do that, and I'm going to come over here and do that. Do it was stuff. it was hilarious. Um, so, yeah, that's where the other dogs were. The, they, there was no one to watch them. So those people didn't go in to the movie to watch and that's our marley that is getting tired and saying you're boring well sorry marley uh i want to see if i've missed anyone if i missed your question question again um well you tried frogs and tacos my brother Robert tried frogs in Louisiana, but he lived in Galveston, uh -huh. um, and then it's like pretty close. Uh -huh. And he tried like frog, and he was like, "It was swampy chicken type of." I was like, mm, "That's not good." <laughs> also, uh, at Eddie's World, the what I was gonna try was shark. They had shark beef jerky. Okay. Yeah, yeah they, and I was they like, have a lot of crazy beef jerky. And I was like, you know what? Let me try that one. He's like, we don't got it. I was like, okay, never mind. I'm not gonna try that one then. But they had you like ostrich. They place. had ostrich. They had oh. croc. Yeah. I was like, no, I'll just do the regular beef type stuff. Um. Who do you ostrich it? Kurt says I want to try frog legs. Y'all yeah. are wild. I can't do that. That's weird. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet, crew. Not yet. I, I can't do that. Do Lori, if we're going to be friends, it's Candace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Uh, as she said, goat. Wow, that sounds cool. Yes. Lots of baby goats. Uh, I'm not too sure where it's at. I, I forgot what what the farm is called. Um about yeah nick said goodbye have a great night crew let's make it to the weekend yes yes make it to the weekend frez yes almost. we're there we're almost there like jason said almost. have an awesome rest of the week have a great night into the weekend and dude you're going on spring break yes good job and great job on your schooling stuff because that's crazy hard i know that college life and woo. but you're doing it Nick, you're doing it. And hope to see you there at Fresh Yes. Again, if if I knew how some of y'all looked, you know, then I would be going up to you guys going like, hey, what's up? Uh, but please, please, if you do see me, again, I always feel full of myself for saying that. You know, like, hey, if you see me, say what's up. But it's just because I, I can't put, hey, hey, why did you do that? Two dollar. Why would you do that? You don't have to do that. Thanks, cat on the go. <laughs> Two dollars. Whoever that is. <laughs> let's celebrate the first. Uh, let's celebrate their first super on live. All right, you got to do it. You got to do the dance. What's, What's the, the dance? dance? I don't know. No, I don't know the dance. But first, is it the chicken dance? I guess <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here comes Toby. He wants to dance too. Toby's like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Let's get Jason saxophone and he's going to play no. the chicken dance song <laughs> for the super chat. <laughs> Just make it up, Jason. I don't even know the whole thing. <laughs> That's for the super chat. There you go. 
But yes, please, if you see me at Fresh Yes, please say what's up. Uh, because I want to, I want to say what's up to you, please. It's always nice to put a face to the name. Yes, for sure. And I know there's been chances, uh, like for the concert thing, the which concert where Nick was like at Tioga Sequoia, but then we went to the first Monsters game. Oh yeah. But I was like, but it's a playoff game, Nick. It's yeah. a playoff game. That's why. I, so wow, we we gotta go see the playoff game. Uh. In high school, we were dissecting sharks, and I Shark? took, I took it, took the meat and put it in my tuna sandwich and <laughs> sold it to my friend. No way! <laughs> oh my gosh, Moon, you are wild! Oh wow, <laughs> that is, cr- <laughs> I mean, that's, that's that's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Here, try this. <laughs> What's in Tell me what it tastes like. That's that's pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's a good one. Uh, Moonbear feel like that could have gone wrong. <laughs> very, very wrong. Well, hey, why? <laughs> I, I think I think she's just doing that to see more dance. All right, and this time Toby hey, jump gets in here. Puppy, come on, puppy, another dance. Come here, he's 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 running away from me. He's like no. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not gonna dance. I'm not gonna dance this time. The There's the dance. There's a the Timberland dance. <laughs> the sprinkler. Huh? Is it I don't know. Maybe. Is it? There we go. A little bit. There it is. Yeah, this conversation was in a very different place when you when you came in, Moon Bear. Definitely was. What are yes. Well, first, I started off this live stream with talking. Oh, sorry, puppy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're like, why? I started talking about uh, uh, monetization. Yes. And how. Oh. All right. Oh, well, okay. sorry. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. Uh, talking about how I- I'm not I'm not a pro or do I know everything about how that works. But I was just trying to be. Very uh, and it took out. I was trying to be very transparent with uh, the whole monetization thing that you guys watch ads, we get a portion of it, and then for every hundred dollars we get, that's or yeah, we get paid out every hundred dollars, yes, a month. So if let's say I get two hundred dollars to a hundred dollars or a hundred twenty dollars in a month, you just get the 100. I just get the hundred, and then the next month, if I get the next. Then, so then, what happens to that twenty dollars? It just sits there until you get to the okay hundred. Okay. So then, but let's say in a month we get two hundred forty. Mm-hmm. So the forty I won't get. I just get the two hundred, okay. and then the next forty would go to the next month oh. to accumulate another hundred. Okay. So yes, they only pay out in hundreds. Yeah. At least that's what I've gotten so far. Um, and then yeah, a portion of. Uh, we get a portion of money every time you watch an ad. So you don't have to donate a hundred. You don't have no, no, no. Don't do that. Okay, there's an ad. Hold on. So some of you might be getting an ad. I'm not too sure. So then we'll just do one of these things until the ad comes off. Is everyone else getting an ad too? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. I think. I think. Let me see. No ad. Candace said no ad. Okay. I feel like the ad should be like a collective thing. So like. Well, that's what I thought it was gonna be. I thought the ad would be a collective, like everyone watches it. So that the streamer could be like. A Macy's ad. Interesting. So, so the could be like, hold on, there's an ad. Let's just. I well, didn't, it's kind of weird that you have an ad during a live stream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've gotten like oh, okay. two ads so far. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Who <laughs> said money? Ooh, money. <laughs> No ad, but it wasn't going to uh, say anything so that you guys could oh. dance for however long. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Too awesome. Yeah, weird. It is a bit weird. Um, but, yeah, so when you watch an ad, I am not. I don't even know what's the portion of it that we get. Hey, an- stop that. <laughs> another another Let's one. Celebrate the third. Let's celebrate 
the third. Come on, Mal. Come here, dance. Dance. Come here, Mal. Here comes Toby. Here comes Toby. Oh, oh, oh you oh, want to oh, come in oh. too, Marley? Marley wants to come in too. Nana, 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 nana. There she is. There oh, she is. was going to. Come here, come here. Come here, up, Marley. Up, up, Marley. Up, up, up. She doesn't know what to do. There's no space for her to dance. There's no space for her to dance. Mal's getting a little. Mal doesn't know what the heck is happening. Marley. Okay. Ah, help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on the yeah, go, yes. Yeah. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> she's going to get mad. <laughs> yeah, she's like, what are you guys doing? No, hold on, I'll take you out. Look, Marley's over here by the door like, are you going to let me out? As if, like, I don't let her out about, like, five times in, like, the past hour. And then she's just going to bark at me. <laughs> See? I told you. Fine. Fine. There you go. Go. And all they want to do is go outside to go yell at the hey my stop. well there's no dogs now oh well, yes there is puppy puppy another one another one puppy 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 dance 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 come here there it is you gotta do the, 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 the perito. how do you do that what's the the dog dance by the perito <laughs> Okay. Oh, rah, rah, rah. He's going to start talking. Okay, now he's going on to Timberland. Okay. Toby one time said something, but he actually talked to him. It sounded like he went rah, 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 rah. Okay, PayPal's going to think someone hacked my account. <laughs> Seriously. They're like, hey, um, what's happening? All right. Uh, I think it was during Look, the I didn't think I was going to uh, start sweating on, on the live. <laughs> but here I am. Sweating on a live. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I think it was during Christmas where somebody, we were going to do something. He's like, Toby, you can't go somewhere. But he said, no. Oh, that's oh, right. I do remember that. He did say, no. <laughs> well, say hi. You want to be on camera? There you go. There it is. Hi. Candace. <laughs> Candace. All right. Here's another one. Another dance. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> He's singing with you. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. <laughs> you're too much fun. I hope we are. I hope we are. Uh, but the conversation went from that into to Disney. To Disneyland. To Disney. Sports. To sandwiches. To mayo on rice and uh to Sour cream and spaghetti. Ranch. Ranch. All right, puppy. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who's your favorite Oh, that's oh, what we're talking about. Yeah, who's the 90s? Also, yeah. What was your favorite show? The, What's your favorite kid? show in the 90s? And we forgot to mention Power Rangers. I don't know Power how Rangers. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. right. Toby was. Toby, Toby is mad. Yeah. <laughs> the combo is just flowing. It's just how it is. Doug? Okay. Oh my gosh, Doug. I forgot about Doug. So Go, Candace. My buddy uh Jason, not Jason, a different different one. That's Jason. Um he says all the time that he learned how to parallel park from Doug. Okay. And his wife gets upset every time he says it, but no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. Cat yeah. dog? Yes, that's right. Okay, yeah. Dog, oh, uh Jason did say hey Arnold earlier, yes. but yes, hey Arnold. Um Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I'm moving the chair this time. Moving the chair this time. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Come on. <laughs> Jason has to get into one of these. Ren and Stimpy. Okay. So that was a little too adult for me growing up. Ren and Stimpy. My brother and I would watch it, but not with. Uh, Parents knowing. Yes, I did do the chicken dance. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, Toby's like, not again. Yeah. He's like, dude. <laughs> All right, Jason, get on in here. Get on in here. Get on in here. Get on in here. You're going to have to give me money. Come on. Come on. And do the, oh, no. the macarena oh, thing. No. I don't even know how to do I it. Hey. <laughs> All right, Toby, too. <laughs> Man, I'm going to need to see some Cuban moves. Oh, no, no, no. Don't say that. <laughs> oh, 
Yes. What a live. What a live. Look, I'm sweating. Oh my gosh. It is insane. We never even finished with the uh with, with the nene. Jason knows that one, right, Jason? Nope. Yeah, you do. He knows the what's what's the other one? The the other dance one? The floss? Oh, I forgot about that one too. That's, yeah, I don't know. The floss. Like this? No, not that floss. Oh. <laughs> But we went from Disneyland, which actually that was supposed to be the, the, that was main, to be the main the topic. main topic. <laughs> no, you're, doing you're aging yourself. You're aging yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are too awesome. You guys are way too awesome. Uh but cat dog, heck yeah. Ren and Stimpy was watched like it was like a Okay. Watch it. Yeah, it was, it was really adult growing up, <laughs> which is pretty crazy that that it was. Yeah. Um, Pinky in the brain. Pinky in the brain. Heck yes. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we go. Um, do do some 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 Cubanness. There it is. There it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man. Cow and chicken. Okay. Uh, have you guys ever heard the theory? Jerk. Uh, brain is actually the smart one. Yes. Yeah. No, Pinky's the smart one. Pinky's the smart no, one. No, no, no. Like, brain has been manipulated by Pinky or something. It's a theory how brain is actually way smarter than Pinky. Yeah, isn't the Brain's the smart around. one. I thought. Brain's the smart one. Way yeah. And yeah. Show, brain is the smart one. Oh, yeah. I thought it was like that was like the one of the jokes about it is that brain was like. The, 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 no, no, no. Pinky. Brain is the little mouse. Yeah. Pinky's the oh. bigger one. Yeah. 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 Oh, I always got those mixed up. I thought that was part of the pun. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the other way. It's the other way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, it's the it's the dumb one is actually way smarter. Yes. Than the other. Have you ever heard of that? Hmm? Oh, okay. Cow and chicken. I I've never seen that one. The Harlem Shake. The Harlem Shake. Heck, yes, I remember the Harlem Shake. I don't know the Harlem Shake. No. No. I don't want to do it, but I remember the Harlem Shake. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the heck. Cupid shuffle? Like, I guess. Cupid? Cupid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, no, we do not take a request. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know. Uh, what was the soldier boy? The Harlem oh, Shake. The, the Harlem, there's a the Harlem Shake. The, oh, that's. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that the, is so, the soldier. The soldier. And a Superman. Oh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> now that is nice oh. yeah. Now, now we're getting into different dance moves, man. Like the the Carlton. You know how to do that one? Yeah. So my first wrestling character, I was a luchador, and I mean, you know, it's a white luchador. Everybody knew I wasn't Mexican. <laughs> um, that was, sure? That was like my go-to move. <laughs> That's what got like got me over. It was like it wasn't the strength. Oh, I can't make some friends. I know. She's the only one that has to start dancing on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my my, I got sweat on my glasses. <laughs> Good times. You're all too awesome. Seriously. Um. Beavis and Butthead, that was another one. Yeah. Wasn't that also like when did you start wrestling, Timberland? Yeah. Uh 2010. That's when I got into the wrestling business. Matter of fact, in two days will be my 14th anniversary. Nice. Oh. Nice. That's when I made my debut. I started out as a ref. And right now you got two titles? Yes. Yeah. yeah, right now he has two. Two titles. Pretty crazy. And it was awesome when uh, my favorite wrestler, my favorite wrestler too, heck yes. Can we hear you guys met uh, met your wives a uh, long time ago? And picture it. It was nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. Too. <laughs> well, Carlton. <laughs> Head cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Timberland, two belts? Yeah. Two belts. I have them in the room. For me, it was 2002. Um, I met... 2002. I met Candace on a dating app in 
2020 during COVID. You know, when you weren't supposed to be going out. Yeah, that's. <laughs> hey, that's want to hang out? Yeah. <laughs> hey. I just want to hear that story too. What story? Which about how you got your two belts? <laughs> the two belts? The two belts. So one of them I got, well, actually, both of them I got by accident. What? If, if that's the story you're talking about. How Greg met Katie. Oh. Oh, uh, when I first, uh, I was, I was playing guitar and when I saw Kat, I was like, wait, and she was like, get out of my face. Fool. I was like, <laughs> okay, my bad. Sorry. But it was in church. It was in church. And I was... All the, all the girls, I remember walking out, all the girls were like, oh, which one do you think is the cutest? Oh, I think it's the guitar player. It's Greg. <laughs> no. Yeah. Not true at all. Yep. Yeah, just like, yeah, that's Greg. You didn't know all of them used to talk outside the church. That's how I found out your name. <laughs> that's hilarious. Because they're like, that guy's weird. <laughs> I was there. Not true. Everyone yeah. thought Greg was it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, then if you're ready to know the story. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, well, I and got oblivious to everybody. <laughs> he just plays the guitar and closes his eyes. Oh, I want to read. Mine even close eyes. I just looked down. I was like, no, I don't want to look at nobody. <laughs> he used to uh, rock his hair. <laughs> I did have my long hair. I did have longer hair. Uh, long hair, <laughs> cold <laughs> surfer guy. <laughs> That's exactly I did. I had my hair long, even though they're like, when are you gonna cut your hair? I was like. No, I'm not going to. Senior Jesus can have long hair. So That's exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. I was like, but Jesus had long hair. So uh, CMG, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? Have a picture of my, uh, I have a picture of my quinceanera. Yes, I remember that. I do remember that. I didn't know that you had a quinceanera. Show us some old pics. Next time we go live, show us some old pics. I don't have, so it sucks because I had like a good amount of pictures but they're like on other phones that long gone, burned up in a fire. And then, uh, <laughs> and then any pics I had, uh, any pics I had, like older pics, are not here. You know, so for some reason, a lot of baby pictures, it's just them, like or like younger pictures, it's just them staring into a void. Yeah, <laughs> like just... just staring <laughs> off into different places. Mm -hmm. I had the classic pic when you're on the horse. You know, <laughs> anyone ever have those pics where they put like a cowboy hat and they're so it was weird because I was, a, I remember I, it's crazy how I remember. All right, she's yelling at me to let her in. That's how you know Mal's done with being outside. She yells at me, open, come on, come on. Um, so it, yeah, it's weird. So long ago, where I remember I woke up from a nap, right, and then. Right from waking up, they're like, hey, you're going to go take a picture with this guy. There was a random guy walking around our neighborhood with a horse. Ah, <laughs> I don't know which one to do now. I don't know which one to do. Uh, the yay, what's the, the that's, so... that's that one, that one, that one. Yeah. Are you cranking? No. <laughs> the crank, the crank. Is that yours? <laughs> no, I thought that was the, the which one? The soldier boy? The soldier boy. Because we have to sprinkler again? The sprinkler. He did do the sprinkler. He did do the sprinkler. But that was a yeah, that was a random dude walking around our neighborhood with mm -hmm. a, like a mini horse. And then they're like, You're gonna go take a picture with the guy. Okay. I was like, nah. So then in the picture, I'm like this because they're like pose, right? So you have to do the pose thing. And I'm like, I don't know, four years old, maybe. And I'm like, uh. well, I had tears in my eyes because I was like, why the heck are you guys doing this to me? And then, yes, a real horse. It was a real horse. And then I had an allergic reaction because I'm super allergic to animals as well. I, I've always been, but especially when I was a little kid, okay. I was super allergic to animals so like i broke out and stuff and i was all itchy that's why i was like i don't want to do this <laughs> i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh 
Not a Fresno Grizzly. Oh, no, I love the Grizzlies. Grizzlies is my favorite team. By far a favorite. I've, I've been asked a bunch of times, who's your favorite? Yeah. Who's your favorite favorite MLB team? Grizzlies. <laughs> no, no, no. But I mean, like, MLB. I said what I said. Grizzlies. All those teams that have won World Series, Dodger, or Giants, Astros. Astros. The Nationals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Most of those guys came from Fresno first. You're welcome, MLB. Yeah. Because Giants, mm, it's okay. I'm cool with the Giants. It's okay. I like their stadium. Their stadium is real awesome. Love that stadium. It's really cool. And it was cool when uh, I found out that the tank people did their fish tank thing. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the the fish tank. You don't remember? No, I don't remember. I have a picture of the kids. Oh, here's another one. (laughs) Okay. I don't know what to do now. But I'll I'll do the I'll do the the the, sprinkler. the, the Timberlands dance, the sprinkler. So I, I actually got that from Wild Hogs. <laughs> oh, is that where you got? Yeah. That <laughs> they were dancing, and then like she like went away, and he was like nervous. He didn't know what to do, so he's like, oh. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you watch our uh, if you watch the the wrestling adventure uh, recently, that's that's what Timberland does. Yeah, up there on the. Uh, in the ring, his sprinkler dance. Um, sharks, Giants, and Niners. San Jose, I'm not a fan of those names. San Jose, I don't like the Sharks. I don't like the Earthquake. Especially, I didn't like the Earthquake. Um, uh, so you like Colorado fan because of uh, the Fresno? Actually, I do like the Rockies, but for a very different reason that... Uh, not because the Grizzlies, but I do like him. Like now, I'm like, yeah, cool. But I do have a Rocky shirt. That's because how dare you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh, how do we get better stickers? Um, I think I'll look into better stickers. Actually, so the Sharks actually, when Fresno had a perf- like a semi-pro hockey team, because the Monsters are not semi-pro. They're yeah. just a bunch of kids <laughs> trying to get into college. When we had the Fresno Falcons, yes, and the Fresno Falcons joined the ECHL. Okay, they were the affiliation team of the San Jose Sharks. Got it. Okay. And so then, whenever Fresno would do like their their um, season pass, white boy dance. <laughs> <laughs> What's a white boy dance? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here comes another one. Uh, oh, I know a white boy dance. Yes. Uh, bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye. Oh, Brett, that's, 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 no sync. That, that's pretty, pretty, hey, hey, pretty hey, white. Toby, 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 what are you doing? Toby, 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 Toby. it's okay, man. <laughs> Toby didn't like that white boy dance. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. He definitely did not like that one. <laughs> he got caught up in the, in the cord right now. Oops. Blasphemy. Okay, sorry. No, no, that one. Alone. Hey, I like Then Sync. I knew all their songs. Yeah. I stayed up late to watch their uh, concert in Orlando when they did it in For front Disney. Of... Yeah. Yeah. Remember that one? It was on Christmas. I watched it yeah. too. Yeah. Heck yes. Hello, I'm late. Hey, what's up, Jackie? How are you doing? You came at a perfect time of watching us <laughs> randomly do a NSYNC sync dance. No, you can never go uh, wrong with NSYNC. You can NSYNC. never go wrong with NSYNC. sync. Or Backstreet Boys. Well, for me, it was always NSYNC sync. Oh, Backstreet it? Boys. Yeah. Always in sync. For me, for a long time, I thought the back the Backstreet Boys were in sync. Oh, what? That's blasphemy. Because That's blasphemy. When I first saw the Backstreet Boys, I'll do the Carlton next, <laughs> but no more. <laughs> we already did the Carlton. I'll do it again. Okay. You gotta do the Boo, Backstreet Boys. You got an ad. Oh, oh man, oh. hold on. Oh. There's an ad. Some of you might have an ad. Then we'll do the. Uh, the Carlton ad. Okay, ad. Ad. No ad. All right. Interesting. Doing the ad. All right. Okay. Well, we're back. All right. Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mar- Marley's like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> Toby was okay with it. I haven't seen any. Okay, well, that's okay. Maybe because you have like a super uh, YouTube. I don't know any Armenian dances. I... Well, I don't know any either. Yeah. I know uh, I could do the uh, what's the 
the oh that's the, the Indian that's in. yeah I can do that <laughs> I think but that's I just know the hand right that's all I know <laughs> because... Jackie's not looking maybe because boy said no no to ads maybe maybe boy's like we don't do ads here no Bollywood why. yes yes uh Justin Timbershake yep Single ladies, oh, no, 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 Jackie, no, don't give ideas, no. all right, how, how does that one go, the, oh, no, the, that's right, oh, 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 shouldn't have started this dance thing, <laughs> Toby didn't like that dance, he didn't like it either, Yes, those awesome. <laughs> I'm working and listening, but you guys' dance moves are cracking me up. <laughs> I hope so. We did do the ma Macarena. We did. We did actually. You missed that one. Uh, We've done the chicken dance, the like, Macarena. Again, I, I never thought I'd be sweating on a live. You know, <laughs> looks like. <laughs> but here we are. Looks like you took. Oh. <laughs> looks like you've done that single lady dance before, just a bit. <laughs> I don't know which one to do now. That's well, pretty much Armenian dancing too. The... I'll do the the Bali. I don't. I don't know if that's even right. Watch them. People like how? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> oh man, my phone's gonna die. Hamper one percent. You have a wonderful right, night, Lori. Night, I appreciate Lori. you hanging out. Seriously, any second you <laughs> hang out with us is awesome. Uh, yeah, hope you have an awesome night, rest of the week. And if you're going to be at Fred's Yes, hope to see you there. Have a great weekend. Into next week. I'm going to do this live thing again next week, too. So hopefully we'll see you there. I came right in time. Yes. <laughs> I don't know that. Giddy. Or, or, or gritty. I think it's the gritty. <gasps> I don't know that one. What's that one? What's that one? I don't know that one. I don't know that Adrian one. Adrian knows that one, but not my son, Adrian, not the. Oh, yeah, yeah, Adrian. not Adrian. Yeah. Adrian, Adrian. Yeah. Adrian. He always tells me, yeah, Dad, I can do the gritty. Oh, that's cool. the one that. uh that, That's that, a football uh, thing. Yeah. That that uh Tyler was doing. Was it? Yeah, yeah if you watch if you watch the video of. Uh, Jason, Jason should uh, do oh, the gritty. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh. I'm sure he knows. Yes. Yeah, Cat's, yeah, <laughs> Cat's, she is. Cat's putting you to work. Yes. Sorry, seriously. man. If, if we get another super chat, you got to do it. You got to come over here and do it. No. Yeah. You have to. Oh, yes. Do the gritty. <laughs> no, you got to. Like, <laughs> uh, but if you watch the red carpet, uh, doggy red carpet, and then as we're going into the movie theater, uh, Tyler's doing that. It was funny because because Tyler, when he saw oh, there you go. What what what's? I think it was the. I'm in a small space. <laughs> I can't do it. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. No. No. Well, I'm not doing it like like JJ. You know. <laughs> what is that? What do you mean? What is that? It's. It's the it's oh, the midi. Like the That's what it is. Parker does. Uh, walk like the Fresno. I don't. How does he walk? I don't know. Uh, actually, I don't know that one. Yeah, I don't know that one. Uh, Jason, come to help you. Yeah. Yeah. You're not the like to do that. Help your dad. <laughs> Ashley <No>. said. <laughs> no. He pays you in food and shelter and clothes and. <laughs> Well, and love. <laughs> See, I had to build my own room back when I was. A kid. <laughs> I had to make my own blanket, build my own room. Hilarious. Uh, <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah, I don't know the. Uh... Oh well, Lori. Yes, I mean, if you're still there. Have a great night. What time is it? Oh, it's nine. Yeah, I think we got to go too, crew. It's nine. So I got to do some editing and uploading for tomorrow's video. I'll um, post a video to my account. Okay. You can see it. All right. A last, a last dance. A last row. It's the last dance. Well, we'll do the 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 slow. 
the slow, actually, the, uh, the the middle school slow dance. Oh, yeah. Because it's the last dance. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. <laughs> you haven't gotten your first dance yet. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, guys. Uh, time after time. If you got your women, you, you will find me. Another one. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> do the twist. We're going old school. Come on, do the twist. Do the dosi dog. We're gonna have Jason do square dancing since that's what he's been doing. Nope. That's cool. Nope. <laughs> Gangnam style. No, 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 no. We have to say good night. <laughs> uh, but a great night. Again, I, I never thought I'm going to be sweating on any of these lives, but I'm sweating on a live <laughs> crew. I appreciate every single second that you have hung out with us for one second or all the seconds. Don't forget, I will not get tired of letting you all know that the only reason why we've had the success that we've had on this channel is because you continue to watch, you make sure you're subscribed, and uh, you just keep liking, <laughs> you're sharing. Oh, okay, how, how does that... There you go. Whoop, 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 Oh, it's too late. I already said it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, too bad. She's <laughs> she's supposed to be coming soon. Okay. So nice. So we'll get a a, a Candace appearance <laughs> soon. Yeah, in sixty days. <laughs> there you go. That's when. <laughs> Excited for that crew again. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Appreciate every sec every second that you give us. You don't have to do that. And uh, the more you watch, the more randomness of uh actually the more randomness of these things you'll get but also <laughs> the more ability for this channel to get pushed out to other people so then maybe they'll also join these lives and say what the heck are they doing on that thing and they're talking about mayo they're talking about uh crocs iguana breaking uh, disneyland sports breaking spaghetti <laughs> breaking spaghetti what the heck is going on but that's how it is that's how these lives are that's how it is hanging out with us yes thank you good night have a great night have a great rest of the week have a great weekend. And remember, crew, all of you are awesome. Don't let anyone tell you different. Keep that smile on, even in those hard moments. You keep smiling. You keep being awesome. We love you all. Bye. Say bye, everyone. See you guys. Bye-bye. There it is. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. You are all too awesome. Hey, that's a cool sticker. Good night, y'all. <laughs>